Oh, hello everybody, welcome. It's Tuesday. And the launch of the hotly anticipated new show, <clears throat> new show, The Exochrism of Jeff Brigby. Coming to Netflix, it was first, it was The Haunting of Hill House. Then it was The Haunting of Bly Manor. October 2021, The Exochrism of Jeff Bigby, starring Tom Cruise, Dutch Tom Cruise. How do you say that? And Glandolf. Oh, oh. Hello, Daniel. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, I, not, we're not, not we're quiet on my end. Are we live? You, on oh, yeah, you're loud on my end for sure. Loud or live? Both. Okay. Well, no, not both. Just, just live. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, dude, what's going on? I'm like, I'm jazzed. I'm jazzed. I even made. Here's how you can tell I'm excited for a project. I made a nightbot command. What? Exclamation point. Gex will give you everything you need to know about the Golden Egg Challenge series uh, for episode one, the pilot episode. Um. Is this is this fair to say? Can two bad players? Win <laughs> ten games and <laughs> so, what do you mean two bad players, uh, Daniel? Um, I how am, should we phrase it? I uh, two bad I'm, players is easier clickbait. I mean that's true. Bait. I I said two average gaming dads trying to accomplish extraordinary feats. Okay, I say can two dads. But come on, I mean one of the dads is uh, platinum too. Yeah, well you have to explain all that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in break mode right now, so I'm not even like. That's fine. I'm I, not there yet. I just started, so let me let me take a hit of the caffeine, and Dude, I'm I, I I can carry what needs to be carried. I did send you a squad stream invite as well. I did accept that squad. You know stream what? Invite. There you go. And, and then, I am now live. Okay. Hello. What are you eating over there? Can of peas? Oh, bro. Little 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 too soon, man. Dude, I felt like we haven't talked in like. A year. I was thinking that I, we, you and I, have not um, had a conversation on Discord since the baby. I think we've had text conversations, but we have not had uh, we've not had a voice call. That is a hundred percent correct, man. Um, before we get into that, though, oh, you want to do the intro? Uh sure. I I don't have anything to crack open though. Maybe maybe it's too soon for that anyway. Let's let's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, three, a two, a one. Hey, everybody, do not under any circumstances crack open a cold one, but you can crack open your shift key and your exclamation point. Type exclamation point G-E-C-S in chat, uh, and you can feel for yourself what we're doing today. The Golden Egg Challenge Series, a show where two esports level gamers try to, uh, uh, two dad level gamers try to complete esports level feats. Sorry, my, the light of my life walked into the room as I was doing that. I got distracted. Well, hey, you know what? If if, if she she is should distract you. She's the, she's the beacon of it's hope. It's true. <laughs> so what we're trying to do today, which uh, so every week we're gonna come at you with a new pipe and hot challenge. This week, Ryan Gary, very seasoned Ooh. in Rocket League. Myself, I'd say I'm like a you know just a chicken breast with nothing on it, unseasoned. And uh, so with that, we're gonna try and win ten games in. Two hours, is that correct? Ten games in two hours. This seems appropriate. Um, before we crack into it, what do you think our chances are? Level, level of confidence, I would say. I'm honestly, I'm gonna say sixty-five percent. I think we have a two-thirds opportunity to make this happen. Okay. Would Would you be okay if I took the official poll over here? Dude, please do. Please do. Uh, why in chat? If you think Ryan, Gary, and I will win ten games. In two hours of Rocket League and in chat, if no, that is the official challenge. I do need uh, to know, though. What, what's your level of uh, experience in Rocket League? Well, I am just playing through the tutorial right now. So <laughs> okay, yeah. We played together, like, a long, long time ago, right? Yeah, probably back in, like, 2015. <laughs> yeah, so that's I haven't played in five years. But, but you, before we start the challenge, can you talk to me about the Renaissance? Because I feel like you started it. And now it's like back or something. Dude, I, I'm not saying that I have like the ultimate level of influence, but 
Like, I played Rocket League way back in 2015. I'm not trying to say we kicked it off, but, you know, I was perusing stuff for Let's Look At It, and I saw a game where you play soccer with your car. I said that's a unique brand of, of strangeness that I'm down with. All of a sudden, who knows what happens? Three months later, it's the most popular sports game on the PC. Um, but then I stopped playing it because I started hating losing more than I liked winning. But then I came back to it just now because it went free on uh, the Epic Store. And I was like, you know what? That means a crop of uh, fresh meat from people that, you know, probably Fortnite gamers who uh, are now like, hey, I want to try something else out. So I thought maybe we'd get some free wins. That's exactly <laughs> how it turned out. But now it's got its hooks in me and I, I don't know how to stay away. Got it. So you're like, okay, hey, new crop of, you know, uh, entry level players. Let's just Easy call dubs. them, you know, uh, virtual Zoom middle schoolers. Okay. Okay. And uh, so the wins came easy. How do I see your, your rank? Um, I don't know if you can see my rank. Okay. I don't know if you can see my rank. But you can see your rank, which okay. is probably uh, unranked. <laughs> is that bottom left corner? Uh, no, you have to hit play and then competitive. And okay. it'll, it'll show you. I don't know, though, dude, because I'm like, how, how does queuing work in this game, chat? Do I need to queue... Um, or do I need to have Dan Q? Oh, you know what? He, he probably can't even, uh, yeah, he can't even play ranked yet because he's got to get to level 10. So we can, well, uh, we'll just play some that's casual. Probably, it's probably a good time to like, you know, you kind of give me, teach the ropes a little bit. Oh, it's, dude, you, you've played, uh, sports games before. You know what's up. Yeah, but there's like a little, little bit more to it than that, right? <laughs> are you, uh, are you ready to go? Are you ready to, I am to ready. try? Dude, it's, I it's am. not hard. You know how sports work. It's easy. It's just fall ball. Okay, fall ball. Mm. Oh, okay, so it's like it's more about spacing than it is about anything else. I'm going to be honest, like for you, all I w and I'm not very good at the game to begin with either. As long as you know the controls, we just need to talk and we, sh we might be okay. Like I'll get this one and you hang back. And then occasionally I'll be like, hey, you get this one and I'll hang back. And then we'll Is this a practice game or does this count? I'm sorry. I mean, I would consider this to, uh, to count. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna start the official timer. Then. Oh, here we go. The, I didn't know you had that kind of that kind of sauce. Hey. Oh, we got the sauce here. Look. Is that your baby? That is my baby. Aww. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, Good Luna, luck. ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. I'm a, dude, honestly, I'm excited right. for this. I think I think we got a great chance, and I think you're gonna pog up. All right, you go for it. Okay. Go for it. I am ready. All right, so now I'm a fit. Timer's going. This is our first official game. We all we gotta do is win ten. No biggie. All we gotta do Ooh. is, and we're already up one zero in this one. All right, and we're playing against just average people right now. These, it's casual, so there is like skill based matchmaking. But I have okay. no idea, like, what rank they are. I don't know how strict the, the matchmaking is in non-competitive. Okay. But uh, it so far is going oh, pretty nice well. Shot. Sorry, that, no, that one's my bad. I probably I, I should have left that one for you. Do you go ball cam or you go other cam? You want to be on ball cam like 90% of the time. Okay. But when it's gotcha. directly over top of you, you might consider going on ball cam. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm styling out here. Oh, dude! Hey, I don't want to get in the, I don't want to get in the way of Pavel Burry hitting, hitting his third hat trick. We'll take our first dub. So I would um, say, like for you, there's only like like you know how to boost. You know the boost button. Yeah. The only other thing I would suggest is like if you double tap the jump button with mm -hmm. the direction, it generates a flip for you, which will give you like a lot of. It'll give you like extra sauce on the ball if you hit it in that direction. Gotcha. So don't want to do that. That's sure. all right. You know, that, that's the situation. If you want to counter that, you just hit uh, down, 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 down right. on the D-pad. Down, down. What does that do? Well, you'll see when you do it. Okay. Um, so I got to ask you. So you, you got your baby. Correct. Right? Yeah. What's What's been the biggest challenge thus far? Oh, Speaking dude. of egg challenge series. It's, uh, I mean, what would you guess is the biggest challenge? And we'll see if you're right. Um, I would guess sleep, lack of sleep control. Lack of sleep, I would say, is number one. And you're absolutely right in your phrasing. It is not just lack of sleep. It's lack of knowledge of what the sleep's going to be like. Like, you go to bed at 
10 and you just hope you're not waking up until like 4, <laughs> but sometimes it's 1.30, sometimes it's, you know, 2.15. And sometimes, like, I, she cries a little bit and I just, like, pray that she's going to stop rather than get up. And sometimes well, she does. I saw your tweet this morning. It's like, bro, you stop crying. <laughs> I didn't know if you were talking about about uh luna or if you're talking about the isaac community about the dlc not Ooh, out yet oof 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 oh we're losing sorry no it's what it did there's no no apology necessary so sometimes you said you pray that she just stops and then how does and that work dude, out she for does you? sometimes or alternatively um kate will wake up instead but i always i feel bad for it but like there's some times where i'm just like man i just like i'm just gonna be a zombie i can't answer the the bell right now <laughs> so that's a to that's a totally different dynamic right because you got like the actual get up and then you have the fake get up have you mastered the fake get up yet what is the fake get up i i want to i want to learn all the dad <laughs> skills oh it's like so you <laughs> act like you're gonna get up and then she gets up instead yeah so the baby the baby starts to cry you take like one that's leg out of the that. bed you pull you pull back the, the covers and be like i got this and then then you just wait a half second before you actually get out <laughs> Uh, it, 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 it has gone that way a couple times. <laughs> oh, no, that's my bad. Um, like, at, sometimes if it's, like, the time where I think we should be getting up to begin with, then I'll do the half get up, and then huh? Kate will be like, nah, I got it. But it, if it's the middle of the night, if the sun's not up yet, then I'm like, this one's on me. <laughs> so, and I guess it's a personal question, and I think this, this plays a lot into the dynamics, is... Is what is does Luna take a bottle or only straight off the organic <laughs> yeah. spot? She she takes a, a bottle, but the bottle is organic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. So like you, so you have to like. There's no excuse for you not to get up. It's not like right. You can't. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I, I I have the capability. So you have okay. So that that limits your options. So that so so lack of sleep has been one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one is like being. T tired all the time, which I guess kind of fits, but like I'm definitely not used to being tired at like 4 p.m. And like, how does that hit for oh, you? Good hit. Um, I don't know. Like, I I just feel kind of uh, like spotty. Like, I feel like you know, normally imagine like my thoughts are like a game of catch, and uh -huh. it's like you know, you throw the ball, the 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 thought is going to be received with a hundred percent coherence. I, now I feel like it's a game of catch, but it's like, you know, I'm five years old. Like, the throws are off, the, the catches are not even close. Nice shot! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in, in 18 years or so, I'm excited for the, for the renaissance of coherent thought. So, I mean, I think it puts a different dynamic, right? Like, and, and it's a little bit different in this time, but... What about before in the past you're like, oh, I'm so tired versus like now? Yeah, I know you and I were talking about it, but like hearing other people be like, I'm, oh, I'm so tired is like, it's comical now. And is that, that dad shaming or like anti-dad shaming? I, I, we're not anti-dad shaming, no. we're just kind of saying. Like you, you can be tired and not have a child for sure. But like the previously, like anytime I've ever complained about being tired, at least I knew that it was like on an expiration date. Like, oh, I'll be able to get a lot of sleep on like Thursday night or something. But now I'm like, you, you never know, right? Like, you're in the abyss. There, there is no getting out of it. You're just it's falling. The yeah, there, there's no, there's no recovery. You're just sort of, you know, you're, you're, you're hanging in limbo for an indeterminate amount of time. Have you had any moments when you're like? Not that it's not worth it, but like when it's like, oh, like this is really, like really worth it. Like, did you have any moments where like, yo, that's like 50% my, my DNA oh, just looking dude. at me? Absolutely. Like, uh, and anytime, like, sometimes I'll come out of my office and then she'll smile at me. Like she's sitting on the couch in the living room and you're like, you're like, yeah, that's, that's my kid right there. <laughs> that's cool, man. It um, is. And it's funny, right? Like they have, it, cause how old is she? She's too Two months, month and a half? Yeah, month and a half right now. Just, like she okay. turned six weeks old yesterday. And this may sound like bizarre, you know, if you don't, if you've never had a little one, but like, like have you started to notice like she has like a little personality, right? What do you think, Kate? You think you've noticed that she has a personality? <laughs> yeah, she slaps my face with her, uh, with her wet hand. <laughs> when my boob is not full of milk. That's true. She and does. She goes like work. I would describe work, it as a milk. as a hungry baby. <laughs> Their personality is hungry right now. And then she slaps me. 
She punched me like a few times this morning too. Yeah, she's 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 very violent. It's a scary time. I don't know. I, I'm I'm waiting until she crawls. Then she's gonna she, she's gonna be a real handful. <laughs> So like, what's your like? What do you do like during the day? Are you up? Like, cause you're up. Like now you're up. Like my Eastern time. And yeah. Ryan, you know, people don't know Ryan's on PST, but you're out there like me. It, it's true. Okay, hold on. Before we get into this, I here's yeah. here's our game plan. Okay. Okay. Who, if you're in front, you go towards the ball and hold boost for the kickoff. Okay. If you're in back, just hang out where you are, just in case things go wrong and you need to make a save. Gotcha. That that alone will save us like one goal per game. Yeah, and I, I'm telling you, it's it's that those are the keys to the kingdom. Okay. She's your desk. Nice. She's like eyeing on you. She doesn't want to be separated from you. You yeah, we need like a well. I could wear the baby Bjorn all day, and then oh, <laughs> she can just that. chill with me. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, no. I was I'm playing defense a little bit here. So, like, nice. to to answer your question, that is kind of, like, like, that's part of the struggle as well. Is like, previously, like, I started work maybe at, like, you know, 10 a.m. Now, I've been recording Isaac episodes at, like, 7.30 in the morning or 6.45 in the morning. And it's, like, by the time I finish the NLSS, like, my day is over. Like, I'm, I'm basically about ready to pass out. <laughs> it's n like I don't know, and I think about it because I'm like I don't know you. You sometimes you wake up at like 5 a.m. Okay, so you're gonna take this one. You wake up at like 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern sometimes, right? To to jog, yeah. but then you're still recording episodes at midnight sometimes. So for you, like normally after the NLSS, you go back into the salt mines or the yeah. Isaac mines, right? I'd get, a, now I'd get a couple of videos done or something. That one, that one's on me. That one's on me for sure. And now it's not like that, right? No, now I'm like, you know, 3 or 4 p.m. Or I guess 5 or 6 p.m., I'm, I'm done. Like, I, I can't do anything else. And then I, it's funny, like, I used to look at 7 p.m. Like, it was, like, lunchtime. Now I look at 7 p.m., I'm like, why am I even awake? Like, I, it, basically, it's like I should be asleep right now. Because, oh, no, we still got to eat dinner. And then we got to do two feedings. And then, oh, it's her bath time as well. And then after the bath time, we got to top her up so she's, like, ready to fall asleep <laughs> at night. It's like, it, it feels like there's, like, four hours uh, left from that point onwards of domestic stuff. Nice. Great save. Great save. So, for you, like, production-wise, like, because you kind of, like, you limped. I felt like you... I have no other way to say it, but like Phrasing. limped back in. You know, you're like, oh, I'll do a little Twitch, a little YouTube. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I mean, I think I got back to, to doing most of it uh, pretty quickly, like faster than expected. But uh, I, limp, if you want to if you want to call it limp, that's uh, I, I don't like the word, but <laughs> I'll allow well, it. Well, like, I guess, like, uh, you know, dipped your toe. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Give me that, daddy. Um, so then, so when did you just say, all right, hey, look, I'm good now. Like, I can, like, start doing stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm still not, like, fully there, for sure. It's st We're still in the adjustment period. Like, Kate's not sleeping enough, so we want to, uh, like, make sure that she gets a little time in the afternoon to always get some extra sleep in. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's a learning process, for sure, because we've never, obviously, been in this situation before. So we're just kind of taking it, like, week by week and figuring out where we stand. Okay, Dan, you might be able to take this one off the wall. Oh, that was a little, is a little oh. hot. <laughs> oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Nice setup, Pavel. <laughs> Who's your favorite Canuck? Um, you know, that's a great question. Favorite Vancouver Canuck of all time? I mean, like alumni legacy. It's or you could go current. Current for the current, boomer it's, zoomer. Oh, do it. I mean, so Elias Pettersson is like. He's an incredible player. He won Rookie of the Year uh, last year. Then on top of that, he's also a memer. Like somebody, what do you mean? somebody sent him the video on Twitter of like this kid playing basketball, like by by just dribbling it between his legs, super quick. And then they said, "Hey, Petey, uh, reconnect or can you uh, recreate this video?" And he filmed a video of him like going to Canadian Tire and then buying the basketball and then doing it himself, which is incredible. And he, he's always like you would like him. He's dripped up nonstop. Really? He he. Everybody else in the Canucks is wearing like, you know, old navy T-shirts, and he's wearing like Hermes nonstop. 
Mind you, he is going to probably sign like a $12 million contract next year, so. Was he uh, a high draft pick or was he just kind of like a, a farm team guy? No, nah, he's fifth overall 2017. Uh -huh. So he's, he's good, but he's like better than expected too. But then like <clears throat> legacy wise, I, I like the Sedins a lot. Pat There's Patrick, Patrick and Sunstone. Michael. <laughs> Patrick Sedin and, and Michael Sedin, yes. Did the they, they both play for the Canucks at the same time? Yeah, it was like a like a one of a kind oh, situation. How did the rest of the NHL let that happen? <laughs> So they were both gonna be like high high draft picks for sure. Um, the Canucks had like a high draft pick. They traded that like Dwight Schrute style into a first overall pick. <laughs> then they traded the first overall pick to uh, a team under the guarantee that they were not gonna take either of the Sedins with the first overall. That's dirty. And then they they got them all. So they people let them draft them. That's crazy. They, but it was a different era of the NHL as well, where people thought they were, you know, maybe like too small or not mean enough to, to succeed. Daniel, Good we're going to get our first win, by the way. Let's go. <laughs> 13 minutes into the challenge. I don't know what the pace is on that, but if we get a win every 15, that's not enough. It's not, it's not quite enough. We, we could speed up our time. That was my bet by, by not going, uh, not watching the replays. That might allow us to fit in an extra couple of games. <laughs> Wait, in in this game, if you scored, you control the replay for everyone. No, it's it's not oh. like uh, like 2K or Madden or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah. you got to uh, everybody has to hit the A button. So even the people that ah, oh, that That's was my bad. No, no, I was I was focused on boost. I was focused on boost. So you can't. So someone can force you to eat those ads then, pretty exactly. much. Exactly. Like these guys right now, they're forcing us to eat those ads. <laughs> so that's BM. Like, there's an element of BM in the game. Oh, dude, huge dude! Quick chat is the ultimate BM. You are Check. using a controller, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. why do you <laughs> ask? Because when I said "do down down" earlier, yeah, I think maybe you, maybe you did it on the analog stick, but I meant on the D-pad. I, I have not even done down down yet. There you go. You got it. It's sorry, dude. There you go. There you go. First, first, first victory. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Love to see it. You do love to see, and then you can do some cool stuff here. You can say like, "Hey, <laughs> eat my frost." <laughs> Dude, that's this not a bad fun, game. Man. I, at no. the end of the day, that's that's Rocket League. You know, it's just it's just fun. You know, when, even when, even if you're trash, you know, you could just you're still hitting the ball with a car. Like it's not like it's torture. It's not Divinity yeah, no. Original Sin too. Oh, no. <laughs> too soon, man. So, do we rematch these guys? I would just say ready. So, like, because I don't okay. want when we inevitably win our next nine straight. I don't want people to yeah. be like, "Oh, it's just because you were playing Rosen over and over." Got it. I mean, we. Yeah, do, I mean, like, I guess we should probably leave the game after this one because we keep getting matched with them regardless. Because I was surprised when I saw you playing like Rocket League, and I probably felt how you feel when I'm playing Tarkov. I'm like, Resident mm -hmm. sleeps, you know. Just because it's like I just thought it's like a really old game. Yeah. It's like five years old, but it's really fun, and, and it's free on the Epic Game Store. Exactly, creator code uh, Dan Geasley. And uh, excuse me, I use creator code at Northern Lion exclusively. Well, that's because we so can't use our own creator okay. code. What? What do you? You can buy skins in this? Yeah. So now that it's free to play, there's like oh, nice, nice uh, elimination. Uh, there's loot boxes and uh, <gasps> loot boxes. They, you'll you'll probably have gotten some loot boxes already. Like, I don't even know, uh, I, I don't really understand what's going on with the microtransactions in the game. I, I you get like, it, it's like fully Path of Exile. You get like blueprints and you need rocket bucks to buy like rocketanium in order to uh, <laughs> build the blueprints and you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There's loot boxes where you can unlock like new car bodies and wheels and stuff like that. So there's uh. there's some weirdness like that. But free. have you bought? Have you put any money into it? Yet? Oh, dude, I bought the I bought the battle pass. That's like oh. my limit for microtransactions. Is like if I like your game, I'll buy the the battle pass. I mean, because it's free, right? <gasps> Give me that gold, dude. Dude, I think you I think you've done it. I screwed. It up. Oh. <laughs> Hit the post. Oh, and they're gonna they're gonna counterattack us. Frozen. Oh, no. oh, I should oh. I should have gone Damn. for it, but I was like, I don't want to push it in myself. Bizarro world, KYR speedy with the gold. Oh yeah, one IQ skeepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so have you bought any like can you buy specific outfits or is it just like iridium bucks so stuff apparently like that? people are telling me you actually don't buy loot boxes it's all like based on these blueprints so okay. I, but i don't know i don't know how you get blueprints every once in a while i'll just finish a game and it'll be like hey you got a blueprint for like stay puffed marshmallow man wheels and i'm like all right then i try really? to make it and it's like you don't have enough rocket bucks for that gray oh good try good try if i will all right so rosen's getting his revenge right now it's no big deal it's no big yeah. deal so this one just boosts straight towards it yeah 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 there you go there's so have you there's a pro league to this, right? Oh yeah. Is it just watching like you wouldn't believe it, dude. It's you know <laughs> in uh in Lord of the Rings, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring when Saruman and Gandalf fight and you can't even see what they're doing cuz they didn't have the budget back then to do any CGI. It's like yeah. that. Like they're they're doing some wizardry the likes of which you've never seen before. <laughs> like, like I what, like 360s? Oh, dude, it's you so yesterday I actually I don't want to spoil it too much, but I was recording uh, recording a little Rocket League with a, an esports level Rocket League YouTuber called Mertzi. Ooh. And Ooh. he Oh, the, that's the guy on Twitter. He's like, yeah, I'm a big fan. He said that to you. Nice. It, oh, oh. That was a good save. And I like where you're at. Some of the stuff that he was doing was just like I mean in most of the games I just I basically sat in our net and then he ju would just take it like all the way up in the air and score. And the like, other team couldn't do anything. <laughs> did you play casuals or ranked? It was like, so there's actually like a really good tournament infrastructure in the game. So you can make a, a private tournament with like 128 teams and then tweet like, hey, um, you know, put this information in and join us. And then it just automatically handles all the, wow. the, the infrastructure and stuff. Uh oh. That's pretty that's no cool. Good. That's no good. That's no good. Okay. I'll, I'll, we, it's still possible. It's still possible. Yo, she's making a lot of noise. She's she's very vocal right now. So it, he's like, he's big on the pro scene? Uh, I don't know if he's like, because I didn't want to ask in case it was a sensitive subject. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's he, I don't believe he's a pro player, but he's an enormous YouTuber that has like incredible montages. And like he's grand champion level, which is like. So he's the, like the ro one of the Rocket League guys on YouTube. He's like exactly. the Northern Lion of Rocket League. You know what? I that's a nice way to put it, but I don't know if that's uh <laughs> Oh no. You don't know if he's that big. <laughs> uh, he's he's bigger. <laughs> he's got 900,000 subscribers on YouTube. All right. So, you know, <laughs> I she I want you to score. Yes. Dad. I I do love the I, I love the father-daughter interaction. You know what would be crazy like <laughs> 10 years from now she, she could hear that. It's true. You know what I mean? It's true. We, we like can, you couldn't you you couldn't go back and listen to your dad listen to Steely Dan like thirty years ago. It's just not what the technology wasn't available. I was thinking about that. Like, do you ever? I I think one of the ways I realized that like you know I always knew my parents loved me, but it really puts it in perspective when you're like they bought like a fifteen hundred dollar video camera in nineteen ninety one to record me going like ah, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> So speaking of tech, we uh, it, it just came up. I ended up listening to the Zelda 2 soundtrack. Right. Okay. And it came out. I got it. There's like this whole story, whatever. I got it when I was five. But like I'd play it with my dad every night and then I'd go to bed and he'd continue. But this is like Galaxy Brain Twitch. And the memory just came back is he would record whatever I missed so I could watch on VHS. Hey, that's really cool. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> like, and you're talking like 87, 88. I'm like, that's galaxy brain stuff. Dude, yeah. I had a, a this guy I used to play Halo 2 with. I thought he was a genius. He had one of those like, uh, so you used to plug in your video game consoles like through your VCR sometimes for reasons that I don't even understand at all. But, and then you had to put it on channel three in order to get the signal to pick up. Yeah. Those were the days. He, he somehow hooked it up so he could record his Halo 2 gameplay onto a VHS as he was <laughs> as he was playing. That's like, you want to talk about scuffed YouTube back in the day. <laughs> and I don't even know what you would do after. I guess you would then put it into a VHS to DVD converter. Oh, and then no. mail it to your local BBS? <laughs> well, then you could rip the DVD from there onto your PC and probably get like a real player file or DivX or something like that. 
then you could upload it to your own private FTP server and send people a link. <laughs> Those were the that was that was what it was like back in the day. And you, right. then you'd you'd send it to people and they'd be like, "Wow, nice kill." <laughs> <laughs> they'd, write, they'd write you a postcard. All right, so we're we've got we're trying to get ten wins. We got yeah. one win. We so got twenty two minutes on the clock right now. Exit to main menu. Okay, and then we'll we'll enter another casual game and hopefully get some some different players. I think honestly we got we got a good foundation there. We just got to learn a little bit about like how we're gonna work together. Okay, I'm telling you the kickoff meta is is important. Okay, but I'm with you. oh winner by forfeit. <laughs> Wait, okay, I think we, we joined the game of somebody that was getting their butt kicked. Uh, excuse me, what is our team name? Uh, we are the waifus. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that what? means like we were playing, we took the spot of some people who already had like a team name in place. So you didn't make that name up? No, of course not. Well, uh, that's it was like a little bit not. out of you. Think your, I, would, like, I, I wouldn't mean, do that. Things have changed, you know? <laughs> Dude, okay, right, so these, this, this these are PlayStation this... gamers. These are PlayStation gamers. How do you know? They have the Cyanet avatar, which indicates that they do not have uh, the ability to upload their own custom imagery. <laughs> so <laughs> most of our, like, our team-based goals are going to look something like what they're doing right here. You're going to yeet the ball into the corner. By yeeting okay. it into the corner, it's going to come around to the center. And then the other player will hit the ball into the net from the center. Okay. Something, I, old, something old, like like what they're doing right here is what we want to be doing uh, once we get to their end. Okay. The corner ball, corner ball strats. Little little corner ball goes a long way. Okay. I just get a little uneasy when the ball goes in the air. That's that's where I don't don't feel comfortable. I On would the ground, say at, at our level, Sedin. at our level, you don't need to hit it in the air. You don't need to worry okay. about it. Okay. The, the air is like, I mean, if you play against people at like Apollo's level, you're never going to be able to touch the ball if it goes into the air. Someone's going to get to it first every single time. At our level, like, people can't even reliably hit the ball necessarily. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe we got that. Okay. Okay. We're taking it out. Yo, they have they have heart contrails. Do you have contrails? Oh, I, I dude, honestly, I feel like this is like a Fortnite situation. Where if I actually could sell my account, it would be worth like thousands of dollars. I got. Well, do you have like do you have Gold Trooper, the equivalent of? Yeah, I got like 2015 drip. <laughs> That's my bad. That's okay. That's okay. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we should play competitive. Why? Because uh, I think maybe the These MMR will be more consistent. I mean, they're not good, but they're they're we can beat them. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. I'm starting. Right. To, I'm starting to my my level of confidence has come down slightly, but I still, you know, uh, even a small percentage chance is still a possibility. Rare things happen all the time. So before you hit it, you always you boost into it always, right? If I have boost, yeah, I try to. Okay. This is probably a situation where I should have just gone back instead of trying to force it, but that's okay. Huh? First you, you wait it, for you it. You got it. You got it. There yeah, you go. That's our house. That's our house. All right, you got it? No, I don't All have right. any boost. Okay. Nice. No, that's... Oh, they're going to have a good shot. They're going to have a good shot. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Takaz Fusion, that's okay. They're up 2-0. We got pl plenty of ball to be played here. Plenty of ball. Is is definitely is doable. So, since, like... You know, since having the kid, like, do you yeah. feel like a, a different value on your time? Oh, absolutely. Like, I do, I shouldn't say I resent it, because that's not, like, what I mean. But yeah. people will sometimes message me, like, things that are not urgent at all, but be like, well, like, like what? Like, an example of that. I don't know, like, you know, I, mean, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude to anybody, but like, you know, Mathis, for example, will be like, hey, just so you know, I'm still up to like, you know, check out this game together. And it's an, like, don't get me wrong, it's a nice message, but I'm also like, it's not the right time. Like, it's, I, I have no space for anything get that, out of here. that is not like critical and, and urgent right now, essentially. Like, any, if, if people like message me and be like, hey, do you want to work on like a new project? And I'm like, are you insane? 
Well, that's why, like, when I pitched you this, I'm like, okay, like, I get it, you know, like, it, it's, it's pretty it's much like if, if I'm sending you a message, it's either it's either a yes or no. It's not what do you think about this? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You know, like any any time I get a message that's like I'd, I'd like to pick your brain about this, I'm like, well, you better build a time machine and go back to like August. And I think like someone listening that could sound rude, but it's not. It's just like you you, you, get, you get so limited. much less time. <laughs> My shot off. Hit that back, baby. Oh, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm getting oh, roasted. No, no, no. I'm getting that, roasted for Why? people are like, this is a new project. This is not a new project. This is this is Tuesday. Tuesday's always been some Twitch stuff. It's just a different uh, flavor it, of ice cream, you know? It, it's basically just check the wire, but monetized and overlapped. Yeah, exactly. And because we're playing a game, people will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's based, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Oh, you crap. Know? I think I just scored on our own. Uh... It's all right. It's all right. But, right, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's basically it. Like, I mean, I, I never remember what it was like, too. I don't, I like when you had, I can't remember if it was your first kid or your second kid, but we were like, you know, I wonder how long Dan's going to be out of Unity for. And in my head, I was like, I don't know, he'll probably be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, what was I thinking? That's crazy talk. Like, the light, so this is, we're six weeks on, and I, I feel like I've gotten back to some degree of routine, but it's like, it's still it, like you could roll the dice and yeah. come, come up snake eyes tomorrow. And yeah, that's exactly it. Like some days, like here's what my week really looks like right now. Like three out of seven days, I, I wake up at 5 a.m. and just stay up and start working there. So I have like a 1.75 times the average workday. And then the other four days, I'm a zombie and I, I just get almost nothing done at all. So how do you set expectations, not for you, but for like the audience on YouTube and Twitch? Like, is there an expectation set or no? Dude, it's been sweet. So first off, I, I'm, I'm doing at least three videos a day. It's pretty easy uh, at that level just because I've been doing it for so long. Then the other thing <laughs> is when people like, you know, offer any sort of criticism at all, everybody in the community jumps down their throat to say like, relax, you just had a kid. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> People will be like, oh, I hate that he didn't read the description for this thing, like, before he did it. People are like, shut up, idiot. He, just, he has a six-week-old infant. Oh! <laughs> so, like, no, so is, has the rock tinted? Has that evaporated? Not evaporated, but, like, I, I, I would say there's a lot more uh, sympathy regarding it. Yeah, that's nice, though. Okay, so we, we should leave match here okay. again. And then we'll just chill. So, just, so chill just for, for context. Too. Yeah. So just for context, we have one win in 30 minutes. The goal is 10 wins That's in two correct. hours. Which yeah. is increasingly becoming mathematically impossible. So exit to main menu? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know, dude. Let's try a little... Let's try a little competitive. Let's see how this goes. It, the good news is, in competitive, if we get up like 3-0, to zero, our teammates... Or not teammates, but our enemies will start talking crap to each other and then demoralize them and forfeit as soon as possible. Hey, I don't think I can join you. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because I'm only level five. All right, all right, all right. Put us back here then. So I think, I mean, since it kind of like reached, and I think we talked about a little bit individually, but it's probably like a decent time to at least, I mean, we can get into the brass tacks about canceling Check the Wire. Yeah, wanna... yeah. Well, I mean, okay, so here's, I, I've, I've already said it, but I'll say it again. Like, I thought Check the Wire was good, but then when I went away, all the episodes were slappers. So it just, and it, it didn't really hurt my feelings, but I was like, man, this show just works better, I think, with guests, which is great. But then the problem is that it's literally an exact content overlap of your existing podcast. So it seems super weird to have like one Dan Giesling podcast a week and then also one uh, Check the Wire a week that are essentially the same thing. And I guess the other thing is like, I'm going to take this one, by the way. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, it's like, I, uh, I guess it's one of those things where, like, if you're if you're a farmer, maybe your time is better served farming than like giving a lecture about farming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if if people find us entertaining, then maybe we should be in the process of making entertainment. Not to say that Check the Wire didn't have some some value for sure, but. Uh, Instead of, uh, you know, spending that, like, two hours a week talking about making hay, we could just make some more hay. 
I, I'm I'm big into that, you know. Nice. <gasps> oh, oh, you oh, hitting that me? A, that was a great <laughs> center, dude. That's good. That's that's exactly what we want to have on the on the walls there. Even if they hit it, we just make them hit it. Nice. Yeah, and like I mean, and when you said that, like I, I, I'm not gonna say I wasn't think. Like I was thinking that a little bit. <gasps> nice, dude. <laughs> and it really, I mean, because we had some great, like, legendary guests when you were gone. Mm -hmm. Just like it, really good, and and it was kind of capped off with small ants. And I'm like, we're probably, I'm probably not making these drastic changes if Ryan and I are still, still like talking. I know that's not the point of the podcast. Yeah, but still, like. There was just so much different insight from so many people. And, like, you and I are, like, kind of in our bubble. Oh, and absolutely. And that's why, they're like, you know, I think it. that's why we work well together on this sort of stuff as well. Because, you know, I know, like, as we talked about, you know, if you're like, hey, what do you think about the podcast? If I'm like, oh, it's, you know, been a little better with guests than it was with just the two of us, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you for, like, three days. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're, this this is potentially win number two right here. We had an AFK that just left, although they've been replaced now, so you never know. Mid-season free agent signing, but yeah, and then the same the same thing. Like uh, you know, I when when I was watching like the reaction to the shows when I was gone, and every single one was like, "This you gotta watch this one. This is amazing." It didn't hurt my feelings either. I was like, maybe this just works better as a as a show with guests. Uh, in which case you could loop it in with your own thing if you wanted to, or, um, you know, maybe we're just better served making people laugh, you know, something like Please that. Please get in! Please get in! That was Let's actually go! that was actually an incredible <laughs> shot. <laughs> so uh, they're they're gonna eat that shot. Watch Look that, boy. <laughs> Looks like a ninja turtle. But yeah, no, and that's the thing, like, cause we like it was kind of on ice. Like I'd check in with him, be like, hey, you know, like. Because the last thing I want to do is be like, hey, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? Because I yeah. get it. You know, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, if he wants to come back, he's probably just going to come back. Not that you didn't want to, but. No, it's like know. I would have kept doing you got, it. You, but when you, you got brought it up. To buy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we're not sweating that too much right now. But <laughs> the time is definitely at a premium. And it's not like, oh, I want more time. It's more like the time that I'm spending. I'd, let's make sure we're spending it in the best way possible. Yeah. And that was important. Like, it's really important to me, number one. And, and like, in the back way oh in the back where you know we prefaced it just saying like hey look this is nothing like it's not personal it's just about this one particular piece of content it's not how i feel about ryan yeah, or yeah. and um but then the other thing too like after we were kind of deciding to cancel it you know i made a big point to be like look like I, without without check the wire because i really enjoy, enjoyed interacting with you and like talking and like doing something i didn't just didn't want that to go away because the other thing is like while you're away like everyone's doing really well you know yeah that's good. the other thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> like apollo's killing it melv's killing it and then it's like everything's going good so it's you know you don't really want to take away from that um yeah, but no, no doubt about it so it just kind of came to like this well why don't we just do this which is essentially this very similar thing. Let's check the wire. Oh, oh that's bad. Nice try. Nice try. We need this win, though. We need this win. This could be this. This would be a good one to get us to get us back in some momentum. I might say we might want to like readjust our parameters. Okay. I, like, uh, like I don't know if ten is mathematically possible. Oh, really? How long against five minutes? Five minutes minimum, and then oh. thirty seconds for each replay. <laughs> can you turn replays off in your matchmaking stuff? You you cannot turn replays off. Ah. Oh. Okay, so look, average seven to eight per game. I I would say like it honestly. Would we have an hour and a half left? Yeah, yeah. I would say like if we get his seven, that'd be pretty sweet. But oh. but is it mathematically possible for us to even get ten? Is it mathematically possible for us to get ten? If things go perfectly. You play eight to ten matches an hour. That's what someone. So we, it's still on the table. We got to win this. This is a must-win situation, though. I would. Well, I would say if it's if it's merely mathematically possible, they're all must-wins. Okay, that's fair. But if we if we win this, then we buy ourselves a little time. <laughs> in in. <laughs> Am I getting this one? Way, yeah, yeah, yeah. In some ways, I guess we buy ourselves a little time. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't know. We could, I mean, we could just keep it up, and if we don't make it, we don't make it. Hey, that's the stakes are real. We don't want to just set it at a level where like we're gonna win every time. And dude, Speaking I'm like, there's so many different options for games for this. Can we get a oh. Fortnite duos win in in two hours? Oh baby, <gasps> am I blocking you, jerk? Um. Speaking of high stakes, yeah. I mean, I, there may not have been higher stakes right now than... What, what's the status of your PS5? Oh, it, so it should be arriving on Monday. Okay. How confident are you in that? 100%. Okay. Where did you order from Ant Online? I did not order it from Small Ant Online. It's ordered from... Uh, the PlayStation is ordered from Walmart and the Xbox is from Best Buy. You went with both. Can I... Why both? Uh, well, honestly... Like, I wanted both to begin with, but the reason we're getting both is because Kate just pre-ordered them both. But, like, like we, we didn't have, like, a conversation about it. I just came out of my office, and she was like, hey, I, I got him. And I was like, Sick. Oh, that's the pickle! It's pickle, baby! <sighs> but, and maybe this is coming from a lack of knowledge. Okay, yeah. What What is there to play on the Xbox? It's basically just a sports game machine. Okay, I got it. That's the way I would look at it right now. It's it's a Game Pass sports game machine. Okay. <laughs> and is it is that available? Oh, Game Pass because of X, which is a pipe and hot. Deal. It also Wait. has uh, the EA Play stuff in it now too. So if you have Game Pass on your PC, it extends to your Xbox. Uh, I believe so. Yes. I mean that's okay. That's yeah, like that's... The, that's the main reason because I I bought an Xbox One at launch. And I have used it like four times. Like this is not a joke. The last game I played on the Xbox One was The Witcher 3 at launch. So <laughs> we're talking about like, it was literally the summer of 2015. Well, the, I mean, <laughs> the Game Pass makes sense then. To me, like you just kind of sold me on that. Because like you just say you're just sitting there chilling on your couch. You're like, oh. Yeah, exactly. You can just play whatever you want, you know? And then um, the and PS5 then is just, it's Demon's Souls. It's just Demon's yeah. Souls. I don't think I've ever cared about a console more than the PS5. Do you have a, a hookup yet? Do you have some sauce? So, the sauce, I it started out as I have two 50-50 chances. What does that mean? <laughs> Did you buy so, it from a casino? <laughs> no, no. It's just my level of confidence. Okay. Like, so, two people reach out and like, hey, I bought an extra one. Okay, you know, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll sell it to you. I'm like, hey, I will pay, you know, I'll pay whatever sauce you want on top. And so this was like a month ago. So over time, like, you know, I've been keeping in contact, being like, hey, send me some screenshots. How we doing? <laughs> so, you know, I feel pretty good. I feel like 86% on one and like 90 on the other, but the 90% is not launched day one. So, so but like, so somebody bought a second one yes they're going to get it and send it to you or they're going to they change the shipping address to your address so one of each one of each so because i figured both probably will not come through right i, but, I mean I, if you if you feel 86 and 90 then the odds are like 75 percent that both would come through but i understand where you're coming from it didn't start that way it started like oh you know Sure, sure, that's all good and nice. But like as we get closer and I'm getting like actual screenshots, I'm like, this could actually happen. Okay. So But I've been really big into like I've been looking at the Demon Souls footage and it's literally <laughs> it looks like humans. Humans have been dropped in the game. It's better it's it looks better than the Dark Souls character creators, that's for sure. And I'm excited for you because you never played Demon Souls, right? It's correct. I've never been to Broletaria. Excuse me? That's called Bullet Town? <laughs> But then, and for me, like, on my end, I've never had a Souls game at launch with PvP. You know, with, like, oh, a... Oh, dude, that's true. I, I forgot you've never played a Souls game, like, in its release window. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, it's, like... Dude, all the stuff where you're, like, I hate this about... Like, people will be like, oh, Mirror Knight summons people through his shield. Or, like, this boss actually finds people that are online right now. You actually get to do that because not everybody that's stuck playing the game is like a Elo 4000 Grandmaster level meme hacker. You, ac you actually get to experience like it as the way it's designed instead of just like have the fun sucked out of you to make some nerd's day slightly better. Wait, so you're saying like you'll go in and help like a really bad player beat a boss? Is that what that's, you're saying? That's what I did 
when Dark Souls came out on uh, PC, I just I would spend like a whole afternoons just chilling uh, in in Orlando helping people beat Ornstein and Smell. It was uh, very I cool. I don't know what any of those three things are. You just you said, don't know what? I'm okay. Uh, I would spend whole afternoons, which is the time I would say roughly between like noon and six p.m., uh, okay. chilling in uh, An Orlando. Excuse me. An An Orlando. And Orlando. And Orlando. Uh, helping people kill. Uh, Orn Ornstein and Smosh? I don't know what you call them. Smog. Wait, you said you you pronounced it Smog? S or Smog, Smo, whatever. Does it, Smo? It, I mean, it's O U G H. You know what? Is, how do you yeah. say it? I guess Smuff, we, we, like tough. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so like since I've been following all this stuff. Twitter always recommends, you know, Dark Souls creators and stuff to me. The the fan base. Four of those games are insane. Like every day, there's new fan art of oh, yeah. like Maria the Wilted or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Lady Maria. Yeah, like it's huge. I, I guess I, I knew Dark Souls was big, but oh, they yeah, like probably it wouldn't surprise me to have the take that like Dark Souls and and the the franchise in general is like the most influential game of the the first half of the 2010s. Like 2010 that's, to 2015, I think that's like that's number one. Um, what would you put on the second half, Splunky Two? <laughs> it's a great game. I don't know. Depends what you're looking for. Like I don't know, battle royales were pretty big, so you might say that. I don't know, maybe something like Destiny, like looter shooters, or I don't know. I think PUBG would be pretty close though, because that opened up. It really opened up everything, right? There was no Fortnite without PUBG. Because remember, dude, remember talking about like the controversy that like Pub <laughs> PUBG sued Fortnite and like no, like that's come on. It's, it's a different era. Yeah. And then there's been no like, uh, I'm trying to think. Warzone had some VR innovation, I think you could say, but really. By the way, I know like one day we're going to go back and we're going to like it might even be next Tuesday that we're going to do Fortnite. You will lose your mind at the changes that have happened in that game. In what there, way? There's drivable cars. Um, <laughs> I don't know you if bet. there's still bo uh, bots, but there's like, like when I played last week, like the Avengers were in it. So you would land at like Tony Stark Tower and then like a bunch of armed guards would shoot at you. It's uh, crazy. Uh, like there's there's so much. Uh, there's there's um, like they have jet packs and I mean there's just it, the amount of content is just nonstop. I mean, you're you're glossing over the best part. What about what about the skins? Any good skins? I had there's some YouTuber skins, which is, uh, is YouTuber skin. Yeah, like like Lachlan, Lachlan Fortite has. Oh, me neither. But Sarah, we, mm, Sarah Mac Lachlan, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> we should leave this lobby once this game's yeah, over yeah. for sure. Um, dude, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, and you know what I noticed? You're gonna laugh. So since the last time I played Fortnite, I got a new esports keyboard, and when I was doing dances in uh, Fortnite, the keyboard lights up the the RGB <laughs> at the same BPM as whatever dance you're doing. So when you do it, when you're doing Orange Justice, it's like a little slower, and then when you're doing like the Best Friends dance, it's it's mega fast. Like it's got a built-in programming. For just for Fortnite? Just for Fortnite. What kind of keyboard did you get? And so, what, is that the reason why you bought it? <laughs> and I, I didn't even know it existed. It was just a happy accident. It's a Logitech G something or other. It's it's real esports levels for sure. Yeah, Logitech G420, I think. I think you got it, Chad. All right, we get, we're getting bodied here. So, did you win when you played? No, I came third a couple times. Honestly, like it, it's one of those things you just know if you're going up against if you're going up against a 12 year old, you're gonna win, right? If you're going up okay. against a 14 year old, they're gonna build like a palace every time you try to shoot them. Uh, um, I, so I we haven't really talked about the about the new craze in gaming. Okay, mm. before before we do this, yeah. yes, we need to 
meeting of the minds, right? You you should leave the party and then invite me to your party, and maybe it'll take your MMR instead of mine, because we're we're not gonna make too much progress at this level, I think. Okay. <laughs> so RT. No, it takes the highest MMR. All right, never mind. Let's go back into the queue. Okay. This this is uh. It's going to be tough. I don't think we're going to... I don't think 10 wins is on the table. I think we should start thinking about consolation prizes. How about, how about we just sit, think about the, the six inches in front of us, the next win? Well, how about um, we get a little streak going? A little Minkus? streak. You know what? A streak... I, a two wins in a row is a nice streak. Okay. I also um, want to run something by you, Dan. I, yeah, I, think, yeah. I think you've got a great content idea where when you didn't complete that challenge in Spelunky... Uh, you had to eat the lukewarm canned peas. Oh God! I think yeah. we should. I think we should always have like some kind of consequence. I, I'm I'm with you, but I'm. Uh, I need to take peas off the table. Are you a pea guy? I wouldn't. I mean, I don't want to be. I don't want to pull down the veil of entertainment too much, but I feel like I don't love peas that much. But eating them cold out of the can with a spoon <laughs> is like the absolute worst way to experience. <laughs> I mean. They're, if peas are peas are peas, they're not like they literally ruin any food. But we don't need to have that conversation. So let's talk about potential consequences. Not for this week because this this was like our this was like this wasn't even the pilot. We call this the pilot episode. Sure, yeah. You know, you're watching Michael Scott. He's got a different haircut. Looks like they're shooting with a handy cam. He's got thirty extra millimeter. pounds on him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like potential future consequences. What would be one of severe consequence for eating, you? Eating eating bad things always is great. In okay. my opinion. So what would be some bad things we could and in chat, feel free, you know, this is not check the wire. This is interactive experience. Throw some stuff out there that are within easily gettable off Amazon or something. I don't want to eat incredibly spicy food and ruin my gastrointestinal tract. I would rather eat something very disgusting than eat something okay. that's like physically going to make me ill. <laughs> okay. That's my take on it. <laughs> So Tarkov is off the table for you. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, like, what comes to mind for you? I don't like. I, I thought the peas was good. Some kind of food that I think is gross. What's like, on your worst I mean, vegetable list? See, as as not being a picky eater is a really hard one to come up with. Honestly, I'm like, you, there's always those like weird jelly beans. You know, like the the Harry Potter jelly beans. So Yo, we could we could play jelly bean roulette. <laughs> we could play jelly bean <laughs> roulette. The bean boozled roulette. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, hold on. Black that. Nice, nice black. I don't. I don't think it's a good idea to do uh, breast milk. I think that's probably a, a, a TOS violation. Is my guess. I don't. Actually, I don't know, but it seems to me like there's a chance it could be a TOS violation at least. Well, that's what that's what I asked. Like, is eating peas out of a can TOS? Because you can't eat on Twitch, right? Are you competitive eating? Yeah, like eating challenges you're not supposed to do, but like I think I think you could eat canned peas. So I saw good I saw shot, this thing on shot. TikTok. This guy had this briefcase and opened it up and inside of the briefcase was like Baked this beans. sealed No, it was like a sealed Dorito bag but with no labeling on it. And he opened it and inside of it was a singular black tortilla chip. And he like he went oh, from biting it to yeah. instant tears like within that, three seconds. That's like the the one chip <laughs> challenge, yeah, like the the Paki one chip challenge or something. I've I've seen that. Apparently, it so, is very spicy. So I got a nice reward for us if we win. Oh, what's that? Something I just learned is is native to only Michigan. Something called Bumpy Cake. Have you ever heard heard of Bumpy Cake? I have never. It's it's Bumpy. Yeah, Bumpy though. But, B O M P Y B B U M P Y Bumpy cake. Yeah, but it's bumpy. It's basically it's like a, a <laughs> <laughs> it's a chocolate cake with like road bumps on it and the road bumps are filled with vanilla. That sounds good. It's really good, but they're they're only in Michigan. Bumpy cake. Get that out of here. Of of all the names. Bumpy nice. cake. Okay. Alright, let's get some goals here, huh? Dude, this is like the most annoying guy to play against. All, all he does is smash you when you're when you're trying to hit the ball. All he does is smash you. Nice, uh, nice. See, I just got smashed again. Are you talking about EYE? I'm talking. Yeah, I hate God, but with EYE. <laughs> 
This is how I remember Rocket League. Like, I'm trying to get in position and I rarely touch the ball. That's that's what I remember. I may have overestimated okay. our abilities to compete here. I, I did I did float the I'm like, hey, do you think ten's enough or should we go? <laughs> and I think you're like, oh we'll hit it easy. I think that's I think that's what you said. Well I I didn't think we'd be up against this level of competition. That's fair. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we'll we'll take suggestions for consequences for sure. Either tweet us or and Brian thank, thank God we don't have to do it this week. Yeah, this is the pilot, you know. That's true. I, oh, I I I need a Smurf account now so I can play with my friends without having to sweat it up all the time. I finally understand all those Call of Duty YouTubers complaining about skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> um, it, it, real life potential question. Mm, okay. If you saw Toby Flenderson yeah. walking down your block, okay, what would you do? Nice shot, kid. Nice <laughs> thank shot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would probably say, "Hey, Toby." You would you yell at you yell at "Hey, Toby"? Yeah, something like that. Okay. I'd be like, "Hey, would Toby." You? And in like a, a normal environment, you would you like try to get a picture with them, or you just no? I'd like, just hey. I'd just be like, "Hey, Toby." I think that's that's the extent. Cause like I I don't need a picture with Toby Flenderson, you know I'm I'm not a Toby super fan. I I just recognize him. I mean, as speaking as your content devil on your shoulder, could you yeah. imagine the sauce it would get though? The the if you oh dude, if I get turned it into a vlog. I gotta turn it into a vlog. You'll never guess who I met on the street. Gaussian blur, three point six <laughs> pixel radius. Wait, hear me out. You'll never guess which cast member of the office I met and then you put a picture of Steve Carell and just blur it a little bit. <laughs> 10 minute, one second runtime. Alright. Exit to main menu. Is there any like um you know how there's movies that there's like this ice movie that some people call like Goonies Part 2 or like there's movies that are out that aren't related to their prequel. You know what I'm talking about? Um, like Prometheus and and Alien. No, I, I need to leave this right. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, there's there's some movie. Can't leave this game. There's some movie that's like, oh, this could be a sequel to an unrelated movie. I don't think I'm saying this properly. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you keep no. going. Okay, so like the you know like the sequel to Willy Wonka. Someone said the movie Icebreaker is like a sequel. What sequel the heck to is Willy Icebreaker? Wonka. Ice Piercer? Snow Piercer? Yeah, Snow Piercer. Who says Snow Piercer is a sequel to Willy Wonka? That's what that's what they say online. <laughs> what do you mean that many many people are saying it? <laughs> What's well, <it's, laughs> so many said it? Well, it's okay. <laughs> so. Like, is there any, like, under... I'm good to go. Are yeah, there any yeah, underlying storylines in The Office that can apply to, like... Is it, like, a euphemism for something else, or is it just The Office? Fan um, theory. Well, I like to think that Michael Scott... He did so well at Dunder Mifflin and the Michael Scott Paper Company that yeah. they uh, hired him in the U.S. government to man Space Force. Okay. And that's that's a spiritual successor, in my opinion. Got it. Got it. <laughs> But, like, does anything in the office stand for anything other than, you know, Dwight? Like, them being each other, or is it just that's it? Does anything in the office stand for it? Are there any deeper meat? Like, is it them like Lost? Being or each it, other, or is it just like. Is it like Dwight? Lost? Or is it like. <laughs> is there, could it mean other stuff? Um, I don't. I don't know how to answer this question. But here's what I'm, I'm gonna say. The guy who plays uh, Stanley, uh, yes. Stanley Hudson, is trying to kickstart like a standalone Stanley Hudson uh, television what? program. What? <laughs> I'm not sure what? how it's going, but uh, I, I believe that, that that was in the works. One of my favorite episodes is when <laughs> Michael's picking on him in one of the meetings and then Stanley just snaps. <laughs> Did I stutter? I've I've been living vicariously through your uh, 
through your rewatch of The Office? Because we will rewatch <laughs> like season one to seven, maybe like in September and August. So now seeing you go through it again, I'm like, I get to relive all the moments. Oh, dude, it's so good, man. Like, my thing is, is how are, how did Jim and Michael Scott, how are the, the only ones that have a career after The Office? There's so much talent in that show. You know, I, I think some of the other actors and actresses have careers. Are they careers on the level of a, of a Steve uh, Carell? Probably but like, not. out of all, Jim Halpert's the one that gets, gets the limelight. Mm -hmm. And well, I like Jim. He, he's really good at looking at the camera. <laughs> which is, I think is an essential skill as an actor. <laughs> but, dude, but like, Steve Carell, uh, he's like an actually great actor. Like, not just comedically. Like, he's got a flair for the dramatic as well. Really? He's kind of one of those guys, like, he's funny. But you know, like, if you if he snapped, he's going to go dull. <laughs> Freaking twisted, dude. But Pam Beasley, like, what's she doing? I know she's got a podcast called Office mm -hmm. Ladies, but... I believe well, I told you she starred in. Uh, she was the romantic lead in the Will Ferrell Napoleon Dynamite movie, Blades of Glory. She was. She was. She was the romantic lead in that film. How'd oh, she do, Dan? You. Could, oh. oh, I tried to beat me there. I she, mean, Toby. She, Toby deserves his own Netflix special. <laughs> Did <laughs> Dexter? Oh. Toby Flanderson, the Scranton Strangler. You said Pam Beasley is a, is a blues fan, so you don't like her. Yeah, we we are not in a good, uh, we're not on good terms. And the, the only person I can see being typecasted is Dwight. Like he, if you see him, have you seen him in anything? And you're like, oh, that's just Dwight. Or yeah. No? Hey, every everything that he's ever been in, he's in a movie called The Rocker. He's just kind of Dwight. He's uh, Matthew McConaughey's tech guy in the movie Sahara. He's kind of Dwightish. Okay. In Juno, he's a little Dwight-esque. Uh, he's in Juno. He is. He plays a convenience store clerk that has a very Dwight-style demeanor, as you might expect. I mean, I mean but that's what I'm talking about. He goes from, like, the one of the stars of The Office to, like, clerk. No, and no disrespect, but... <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no disrespect, but... But, like, doesn't he have, like, a, a comedy lead? Like, something? Oh, there was The Rocker. The Rocker in 2009. Oh, so he was the star of that? He was the star of that. It's got like a 16 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, wait. So since you've had the kid, I imagine like your TV movie game's oh got to be on God, point. Dude. I've been watching so much. You, don't you got know. any good wood? <laughs> not really. <laughs> well, you've been watching like trash. You've been watching not even Storage Wars. You're watching something else. Oh, park dude, Parking Wars. I feel like I have I understand you more. Because so much of Parking Wars takes place in Detroit. Really? What is Parking Wars? So it's basically a show where they follow around, um, like, parking authority agents, like meter maids. And then, you know, just film their interactions when they give people tickets. As you <laughs> might expect, they're not always too pleased about it. And uh, it, you, you get some great moments. Like, the, I was watching one yesterday. This one was in Philadelphia, though. And, like... They told a dude, they're like, hey, you know, he had like $700 in unpaid parking tickets or something like that. And uh, someone, sorry, I got distracted. Someone in chat said, uh, in before somebody makes fun of Philadelphia, which is what I'm about to do. But um, they, they were like, he went up to the front, but he didn't have his insurance. So he waited like half an hour in line just for them to be like, you have to go back and then get in line again. But then when he came back, he <laughs> oh, no. he he took uh, the wrong insurance, so he had like last year's insurance. And when he got up to the front, they were like, "We can't take this. You got to go back and get like your current insurance." And he said, "You think you're so tough hiding behind the glass, huh? That door ain't <laughs> locked, brother. Why don't Why don't you come outside and meet me in the parking lot?" And the guy's just like, "Okay, just we're just gonna need you to get that new insurance, please." <laughs> it's clearly like a, a very common occurrence that people try to fight the parking authority. But so the municipalities sign off on this, then, huh? I guess so. Yeah. Wow, must be a nice revenue generator for them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Some I never of the heard tickets that are like twenty bucks. Like I, I know that's. I'm not saying everybody has an extra twenty dollars, but I'm like, you really, you're gonna fist fight like a city employee over a twenty dollar ticket? But here's the thing with the parking ticket. It's literally lighting money on fire like it's not like you got something from it 
more often than not, it was like a su small oversight. You know, yeah, maybe you don't, don't park there. That's true. Like, but, like I, you I can understand is... why people are mad. Of course. But like so many of them are like, you know, they just they they parked in a spot. There's like a sign that says no parking. And then they come out and they're like, why are you giving me a ticket? Because like, there's no there's no park in there. The sign says no parking. The, the only problem I have with with your narrative is that they're taking it out on the person behind the glass. Like, sure. that's what like I get them being mad. But like person behind the glass is just, you know, moving papers around. Exactly. Come on. It's not it's not their fault. Oh, what is this? Win number two. This is win number two right here. Let's go. We've okay. Done it. <laughs> All right, two wins in one hour. Can we get eight wins in? You know, what? let's go on a streak here. Let's go on a streak. The the longest streak that we could possibly make is all I ask. And okay. I I did put us in threes. I thought maybe it would dilute the the damage a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you've been watching Parking Wars. Parking what Wars? Else? Here's the thing. The baby wakes me up at four. I watch Netflix. The baby wakes me up at five. I'm watching Parking Wars. Because it's, it's, they, start, they air you... from five to seven on Canadian A&E. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Is it called Kane? What do you mean? Canadian A&E? Oh, I see. Really? I get um, it. It's on the what... Arts and Entertainment Network. What do you watch on Netflix? I watch whatever's on the front page. Oh yeah, I watched Gold Member yesterday. Mm. That's that's a not a good movie. As I'm I sure. I mean, it has do. Mike Myers in it. Tell me one good movie uh, he's in besides Wayne World. Shrek. Never saw it. You you, know, hey, you you have two kids and you've never seen Shrek. No. So what I do is I there's like and th this is before any current events, any meme stuff. There's a website called common sense media it's not what you think isn't it's that uh it's like it gives you a, a parental cue it's like in this movie yes. two people kiss so don't show yes. it to yes yeah so it's parents reviewing movies so uh, we were looking for friday night's movie night in our house with the little guys so I, i'm like oh let's take a look at wally Okay. And there's a scathing Oh, let's oh go. two in a row! Oh, three in a row. <laughs> okay, three wins, baby. Let's keep it going. It all counts. Um, there's a scathing review from this mom on Wally -E saying about how her son was scared about Wally -E as a dystopian universe where it's just that's that's the future. And I'm like, uh, maybe I'm not, we're not gonna watch Wally. -E. Have Wall -E, you seen Wally? -E? Yeah, Wally. -E, it's an amazing movie. I don't. Your kids are like four and two or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what a two year old is like afraid of, but. I feel like Wally -E is not gonna. I mean, here's the thing. No matter what you have kids watch, I think, so, not to scare you or me yeah. for that matter. I think you can't control what gives them trauma in that sense. Like when I was a, I was ten, and my dad rented Starship Troopers. That has stuck with me for like 22 years from that point onwards. Like when they what, start, when the when the aliens it? start burrowing into people's brains and the. Uh, like there's like these mosquito aliens that are chopping people's heads off and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, and then like I watched Lost in Space when I was like nine, and when Gary Oldman turns from a normal man into like a weird octopus, like is I it, it stuck with me, dude. So like no matter what, I think your kids are gonna get freaked out by something. Like when I watched the, I was probably like five when I watched the Super Mario Brothers movie. I got yeah. like a permanent complex about when they turn the when they turn Toad into a Goomba. Yeah, I'm with you on that, but then my answer is just don't show them that, right? Well, like, I don't want to show them, them, though. What are you going to show them, then? I mean, like, we got Pollyanna's on repeat. The only, the only <laughs> traumatic thing in that, she falls from a three-story building, and then my kids were terrified. <laughs> <laughs> As she lies in a heap on the road. Um, but, I like, for me, it was the last Starfighter. There was this moment when Robert Preston, like, turns into an alien. That's extremely scary. And we've talked about this before. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, Pee Wee Herman, Large Marge. Like, I, large I will still close my eyes to that. <laughs> I will. I'm like, but I just don't want to do that. So, you know, I'd rather just, you know, if you want to watch Pollyanna. Whatever. Yeah, Pollyanna or Curious George. That's what we're watching. The Will Ferrell Curious George? No, there's like a little cartoon. It's okay. Also, Madeline's pretty good. Have you seen my pog? Yeah. Yeah. I think well, that's about it. Though. Dude, we're going to get like, a bunch of dubs here. I'm just letting you know. We got, the, dude. It's still on the table. Seven. We are only seven wins away. Are they still all about David the Gnome, or is that uh... David gets some spins? Not not as much, but you know, it's it's high quality. N not the last episode though, because you got to explain 
that. You know, I'm not ready to, <laughs> ready to explain why a 400 year old gnome evaporates into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's crying around it, but that's a different story. I'm still enjoying the fact that, like, oh, hello. We, oh, hello, mom. Um, Dan, do you have one question? Do you have one question for my mother? Your mom's there? She is there. Oh, oh miss, put her on the headset. I'm, I'm not putting, her, I'm not oh, putting on. her on the headset. Okay, can I just say hello to her so I can say <laughs> that I've said hello to her? I'll, I'll relay your hello. Please. Can you just put her on the mic to say hello? So to say I, hello. I, I, I will. Like, hello, I will Dan. Not. <laughs> I will not. Um, I will not. All right. Can, all right. Ask her this question. Okay. And and I, it, you gave me one, so you have to give her an answer. Okay. What is the most embarrassing thing that you ever did as a kid? Okay, mom. Uh, my my friend and big brother runner up Dan Giesling has a question for you. Okay. He said, "What's the most embarrassing thing I ever did as a little kid?" What? I don't even know this. I, I was trying to do push-ups in basketball. Yes, yeah, you were doing like, um, I guess, exercises before you played. Like in in sixth grade yeah, or fifth? Like, okay. Yeah, like jumping jacks. And oh like no. That. But when you went, got down to do push-ups, it was obscene. It was obscene. Yes, it was very very strange. And oh. Yeah. The, whole, the whole group of parents was laughing their asses off. I've never heard this story before. Oh my God. Oh no! <laughs> All right, that's. Can that's, you ask her if she wolves cringed when you started doing push-ups? <laughs> that's that's new tech for me. I had no idea. Dude, just just give me another ten minutes with your mom. I'll I'll have memes for years for you. <laughs> I was like, that's that's a story. Honestly, maybe the fact that I've never been told that was probably to protect me. So I'll, I can deal with it now. But I appreciate being kept in the dark for so long. Do you remember doing that? Like so, pre-game you start no. doing push-ups. There, sorry, what? Jumping jacks weren't much better. I was like Ben. Ben. Who the heck is Ben Vereen? He's a tap dancer. Okay. <laughs> ben Vereen. It's rare that I don't understand a reference. So to oh, get yourself <laughs> pumped up, you start doing jumping jacks and push ups. I, dude, I can see that in my head. I can see. I mean, I, I was that, so I can definitely see it. Anyway, <laughs> I've been enjoying being able to watch whatever I want right now, but I know that that's going to change. Like, when when do you think uh, you have to start using like those parental guidance? Because like it's six weeks. Like, let's be honest, she's not <laughs> remembering too much of all these yeah. murder documentaries I'm watching. I I mean like and um, and this this my my only hesitation to talk about parenting stuff is like it's a no oh, judgment yeah. zone for me. Like oh, whatever yeah. whatever people do, but for me. We didn't really like. We're pretty careful about oh, TV. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, and I think the only time I think the first time we showed him David the Gnome is because like he was sick or something, you know, like he had to do something. But uh, maybe a year and a half, maybe. Okay, plenty but, of time. I don't know, and, and I don't know if there's any truth to it, but just like, oh, get in. Like I just didn't want to have him see like a bunch of flashing images and stuff, you know. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I genuinely do worry that, like, too much screen time leads to, like, not clinical ADHD, but just, like, a short attention span that will affect you for, like, the rest of your life. Are we going to win this one? No. Oh. oh, an attempt was made, at least. <laughs> I, I do I do subscribe to, I think, the more you stream, maybe, like, I went to type in YouTube during a live stream yesterday, Insane in the Rain, yeah. and I typed in oh. R-A-N-E, and I didn't even think twice about it. <laughs> And like I, I know I play a certain character online, but like uh, you know, my intelligence is fine. It's but higher than indicate. you're not gonna misspell rain on a regular no. basis. Yeah. So. I, All right, I, two wins. We got forty-five to go. <laughs> we, I, we have three wins because of the three wins because yeah, yeah. of that the uh, the AFK uh, forfeit. Dude, what you never told me you even played basketball. Oh, dude! I mean, I played I played basketball as a middle schooler. I was horrible though. But there was oh. one kid who had like a 
a Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls jersey and he parted his hair down the center like Nick Carter. Uh, all you had to do was pass the ball to him and then he was like, it was buckets all day. <laughs> I tried out for the, the basketball team in my elementary school as well. It was 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Maybe it was mm-hmm. maybe five and six. I can't remember. Anyway, I didn't make it. I was I was very upset because like honestly, I'm not a you know, I mean, how tall was I in sixth grade? You know, <laughs> so, like, probably four foot eight or something. But my layup efficiency was like ninety five. Well, because it's it's just DAE mathematics. Exactly. I, I, that's why I was I was like, how what do we, what do you want me to do with this tryout? I made like seventy five layups in a row, and they're like, oh, you know. Try again next year. I was like, no, you had your chance to buy low. <laughs> <laughs> did you, you um, do you, did they post it on the door? Or did they tell you you didn't make it? So they did this thing where they, I'm not even messing with you. They had like chocolate bars and then they called, oh everyone God. was standing there and they call you up one by one. And if you get a chocolate bar, then uh, you didn't make it. And if you if you don't get a chocolate bar, that means you made the team. And I remember walk, walking up, and I was, like, so sure that I wasn't going to get a chocolate bar, and then he handed it to me, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I didn't miss a single layup. Was that, like, your consolation prize? Yeah. Like, I've never heard of that. Is that busted. a Canadian thing? I don't know, Like, dude. you give bad news with chocolate? I mean, nobody on my basketball team was ever going to go pro to begin with. It's not like... You know, like, let me put it this way. My high school basketball team, I'm pretty sure the, high, the the tallest guy in my high school was probably like 6'1". So, you know, nobody's going into the NBA. But even still, it, it hurt. So I got, like, I was big into basketball. Like, there's, there's this really cool league I played in, like, from, like, grade school all the way to up to high school. So I tried out for my freshman team. And, uh... Like it came like so. There's first cuts. They post it on the wall. Right, you know, I'm yeah. like, yes, made first cuts. Second cuts, like right before, like I and I'm not very good, but I would be scrappy. I played defense, like because I knew just knew my role. Yeah. So then, like, we're playing a final scrimmage right before the cuts, and my best friend or one of my best friends splashes like five threes in my face, <laughs> and like I got so dejected and like I didn't play good defense. So then I go in. And they're like, hey, yeah, you didn't make it. And, like, dude, I can remember the car ride home. This is ninth grade, dude, falling. And then I remember going to my room, taking a winter hat, covering my eyes. My parents were like, (laughs) did you make it? And, like, as a kid walks in with the winter hat pulled over his eyes, what do you think? Do you think I made it if I'm hiding my face, the tears? Like, what do you think? (laughs) Oh, that was the end of my basketball career. But I love basketball. Who knows, man, if if they had put you on the team, you could have been the next uh, Steve Nash. Dude, not lying. I got. But you know what? You you learn through that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to deal with rejection like that. Like, um, so yeah, I didn't know this story either. But like, so I I was good at chess, as we've talked about many times when I was a kid. And then like, the way that it works is kind of like big fish, small pond, right? Like, if you know what you're doing at the regional level, you're gonna go like, oh god, this guy's gonna hate me. Um, You're gonna go 12 and 0 like every single tournament. But then when you get to it, yeah, exactly. Everybody else is just like, like they try to hit you with the, the queen bishop mate. And then if you stop it, their head explodes. They're like, I don't even know what to do, right? Um, but so I went like 8-0 or 10-0 or whatever at the regional level. And I made the provincial level. And then apparently like the tournament organizer calls the parents of every kid to be like, hey, just so you know, like there's kids at this tournament that are like really, really, really good. And it's possible, like, your son or daughter will end up, like, mega upset. Because <laughs> they've, they've never dealt with losing before in their entire lives. And it was true. Like, sometimes, like, round one, before the matches, everybody's like, Ha! Huh? Oh, wow! Where are you from? You know, Wasaga <laughs> Beach? That's cool. As soon as the doors open up and you get the results, <laughs> they're just, like, in tears. Because <laughs> now you're in the ocean. <laughs> Did you, With, so what happened when you went to provincials? I, I think uh, so. I went twice, and I think you, you play five games. I think I got two and a half out of five one year, and like two and a half or three the next year. So okay. I was like in the in the tenth to twentieth position, which is like not particularly special, but it's not bad. So you I, didn't get bodied, but you didn't make it out. It, every game was like you knew immediately whether you had a chance or not. Like sometimes okay. you play you play some kid who like not to be rude but 
you know, he'd hit you with like an opening that you've never seen before. And you're like, this is going to be easy. <laughs> like, I, I get it. You came from like, you know, Perth, Ontario or something like that. And then there's uh, the Perth, Ontario. There is. And okay. then sometimes you'd be matched up against somebody and their region would be like Toronto. And you're like, oh, crap. They probably you're got, about to get yeah, they got like an international master privately coaching them. <laughs> it, you talk about like childhood experiences you remember. This was not childhood, but, and this is not Pepe Hands, but when I was in college, I won't give the details. I got like, the first time in my life, I got bullied, like, hoard from a, uh, what do you call it, superior? Like, someone oh, yeah. you had to listen to. And this morning I was driving into the office. I'm like, I want to write this individual a letter and thank them. Like, okay. thank you for bullying the crap out of me for two years. Like, and it's, it's the first time it's really struck me that way. Have you ever thought about that? But why? Because, like, I know if, like, in hindsight, I know, like, going through that, which is was not fun. It was, uh, like, horrible. Yeah. But, like, anything else is like, oh, like, no problem. You know what I mean? Which sounds, like, kind of backwards. You I'm not, definitely not pro. Have them I'm not pro-bullying. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's definitely a controversial, not pro controversial stance to take. <laughs> yeah. I'm not pro-bullying. I don't, I, but... Like, it's more like, hey, something happened to you you didn't expect. How can you, like, flip it? And it's weird, because I, whenever I thought about this individual, and it's weird, because I had a dream about him, um, it, like, uh, like, I always would kind of cringe. And this was the first time I'm like, you know what? You know, thank you. You know, I think it's, you, if you got to take a bad situation and do something positive with it, I think you could do worse yeah. than that. Yeah. That being because, said, like, I, I think know. when you, when you won your first, uh, Big Brother Championship, did you send him a photo with a check? Or did like did it cross your mind like, hey, try to send him a Facebook friend request and No, but he reached out to me and called me. He's like, Hey, congratulations. And I was kinda Ooh. like cold, cold on the phone, but I wasn't rude. But honestly, like, and I'm like, dude, if I could put up with him, you know, dealing with the Jerry's no problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> dude, I mean I had the like not similar situation, but like there were kids who were, you know, not nice in like middle school. And then in like the heyday of, of Facebook, they would like send you a friend request with a message like, you know, we had some crazy times back at the public school, right? And it's like, like I'm not going to hold it against you for the rest of your life that you were kind of an a-hole when you were 11. But I'm sure as heck not clicking the, clicking the accept button. Like you can just <laughs> you can just live in that uh, limbo forever if you care. What if you just took a, a small screen cap? of your YouTube subscriber number and just sent it to him. <laughs> that sounds like something you would definitely not do, but could be funny. Could be fun. Yeah. But oh. anyway. Yeah, you know, you can't let it, you know, linger on you forever. Like That's the thing, like, I don't know. It, I've, I've gotten in trouble for this opinion before. But, like, I think the, the motivation for, like, you know, self-improvement and, and getting successful and stuff like that has got to come from within. Whenever people are like, you know, oh, I got bullied in, you know, third grade. Um, so, like, like people call me chubby in third grade. Now I'm 34. Look at me now. I'm like a fitness model. I'm like, don't get me wrong. That's a good reason to, you know, get healthy. But at the same time, like, that was like 20 years ago. Just, you know, you got you to gotta do it for you now. You got to do it because you like yourself. I could kind of co-sign that. Like, I'm with you. Like, it's good for motivation. But, like, you may feel like once you do it, you may feel empty when, you know, you don't. I don't know if you're looking for an, uh, an illicit response from that person that bullied you. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, dude, like a spite is a, is a very powerful motivator for like a bit. <laughs> you can it's like the boost in Rocket League. You can use it as like a little bit of a rocket fuel bonus, but but long term, I think you need to add more horsepower to your engine. Speaking of like getting ripped, yeah. I mean, now times at an absolute premium for you. Oh, where, yeah. where where where's your Where's your weight conditioning? Oh, dude, I'm like still zero. I'm like a disastrous level. <laughs> Pan pandemic combined with newborn baby. Is, dude, who is are just you? <laughs> you're, you're hitting all these shots. Great shot. In front of three of them, they had a they had a Keystone Cops moment. They, they did. They all crashed in. into each other, which was nice. But <laughs> wait, have, how many games have we won? Four. This, we won four. This could be five. This could be five. Dude, I'm not saying we have a chance. It's it's we, probably we, theoretically possible to get to ten, but we would need like some forfeits, or like some some very fast one zero games. If we get one forfeit, the door's open. Not even. 
But yeah, like, no, it's like, I mean, it was a com let, let me put it this way. Last year, I was in, like, the best shape of my life, for sure. If I could go back in time and tell, like, 2019 me uh, what's going to happen in 2020, I would be like, you know what? Just focus on, like, getting lean instead of trying to bulk up to, like, 205 pounds at 5'10". <laughs> I feel like it, it was great when I was there, but uh, was not really a, ended up being kind of a subpar decision once the gyms closed and also... Uh, you know, my diet collapsed, and also the global pandemic happened, and also Kate was pregnant, and then also we had a kid. It was kind of... It, I, I would be like, you know what? Maybe, like, put the put the deadlift bar down and just, like, <laughs> go go for a jog or something. Um, so, my wife is like, hey, do you want to do this cleanse with me? I'm oh, like, yeah, I was going to ask. She does it like once a year and like I'm, you know, I was just be supportive, but I'm like, you know, what, I'm going to do it this year, because, you know, partly because I stepped on the scale and, and I was like, holy boosh and the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like and so after like seven days, I'm down 10 pounds and I'm like, Yo. Eh, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's pretty simple. It's not like a lemon water cleanse. It's like basically you just eat vegetables and eggs mm, and like I mean, it sounds, just basically it sounds nice. Yeah, just like stuff that isn't bad for you. And I'm like, you miss some food, but it's basically just like eating healthy. And I'm like, you, I've never felt like sluggish or like tired. You know, sometimes you eat something and you like kind of hit the wall. Oh, yeah. I'm like, this is how people eat. <laughs> you know? No, I hear you. Because it's now it's like eating isn't really fun. Like I like eating like it's fun, but this is not fun. It's just kind of like you eat. It's to fuel. Just, yeah. 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 No, which I is, hear you. Get in, baby. Oh, let's go! <laughs> so, I don't know, and it's like kind of sustainable. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds less like, a, hey, I just eat like a hot water with brown <laughs> black pepper in it, and more like, hey, I'm eating like a small group of foods that are good for you. Yeah. So I think I'm probably gonna continue it, but like on the weekends, probably just you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're also like you're still running, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I can see the face cam. You're doing fine. Yeah. I don't want to, well, I mean, unless you want me to be like, hey, fatso. <laughs> no, but honestly, you're looking like, really tubby. You should really <laughs> get, get a move on. I, I'm uh, angling for that letter in 10 years. Where he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, let, let's let's finish this one off here, kid. We got we're up one goal. This could be win number five in the books. 30 minutes. It's contractually obligatable. OK, I understand that. Okay. I understand uh -oh, I got saying. I got to block this. Nice. Never mind. Easy money. Oh, but like we're basically my problem is me, cause like I could oh, eat healthy. Right, right I, now you can't. I mean, like you could. It's, it's but. harder right now for sure. Like any anything is at a premium right now. Time. Are you blue muffining it right now? What are you doing? What the heck is a blue muffin? That's <laughs> it. Sounds like one of those internet things where you're like, hey, don't Google blue muffin. Like they, when you get those meals shipped to you and you just got to oh, cook them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like my mom's here, so she's cooking us a lot of stuff. Ooh, um, any any childhood favorite she's whipping up in the, the kitchen? Dude, my mom is a really good cook. They're less like childhood favorites because I was such a picky eater as a kid, but more like, you know, more recent recipes and stuff. She's made me some tomatoes, lots of soups. Tomato soup, lentil soup, butternut squash soup. Um, Ooh. Uh, buffalo That's chicken chili, which was fantastic. That's a big thing on the cleanse. It's a lot of soup. But hey, can I admit something to you that I've maybe hid for like three months that I think it's appropriate, even okay, though sure. maybe somewhat embarrassing. I and I, you may be angry, but I found no. your mom's Twitter and looked at it one That's night. That's fine. I, okay. I, 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 it doesn't <laughs> surprise me. Like it's one of those things where I know like you asked for it, and then as soon as it was like asked, it's already too late to put the genie back in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I didn't, it didn't whip it out of thin air. Like someone mentioned it or something. I saw. Like I believe I dug you, a little you bit. Yeah. asked for it, and then somebody <laughs> probably said to you, "Hey, here it is." <laughs> Let's go win number five. <laughs> Thirty-four minutes on the clock. We got this. We got this. All right. Yo, keep this guy with us. Oh, dude. dude. Let's party up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, with with hent, you want to party up with hent? Let's. Do <laughs> it is kind of weird. I chat my chat saying it's kind of weird. I agree, but you know I come clean if it's if something's a little weird. And uh, yeah, it's it's nice though, but uh, 
wait a minute. I, I had something I was... Oh, here's my problem, okay? Um, so, I mean, admittedly, it was like a... It was a good 200 that I was. Yeah. In, like, like January. Like, I was in... Good 200. I was in shape, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the problem that we have is that I'm 200, roughly, and my wife is like... I don't know, a hundred? Probably shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I let her pick the meals. Which is, it's, again, I want to be clear. It's not her fault. But she'll be like, hey, do you want to, like, get McDonald's tonight? And I'll be like, I really shouldn't. But on the other hand, we're already in the drive-thru somehow. How did that happen? <laughs> what's, your, what's your Mac order? We've never had this conversation. I'm a, uh, I'm a six-piece nugget combo. Uh, or a ten, a ten piece nugget combo. It depends on whether it's a lunch or dinner sort of thing. I'm a ten nugget piece guy. Fries and nothing else. No, no, ten piece fries and a and the drink. No, like side hamburger or cheese. That's it. Just the, the nuggets. See, that's what surprises me. How are people not just dropping dead constantly if they're <laughs> getting ten nuggets and then like a side hamburger? Well, nuggets isn't a meal. It's like a it's ten a nuggets appetite. is ten nuggets is a meal. It's not a meal. You gotta have something to offset it, like a tasty burger. It comes with the fries. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're you're eating two appetizers for dinner. Fries are not an appetizer. They're a, they're a side. Oh my god. Side side. Well, I mean, I guess they are on shareables depending on the quality of the menu uh, or the okay. restaurant you go to. But sure. And what dipping sauce do you go for your nuggets? Um, so I'll, I'll, I'm a dry guy sometimes. Like, I'll, if, if I have 10 nugs, I'll probably do like three dry, three sweet and sour, four hot mustard. I'm going to tell you what, man. Like, it's rarely that I'm, I don't think I've ever been disappointed in you. I'm wholeheartedly disappointed in your McDonald's order. What, what's your McDonald's order? Are you I one mean, of those guys who like hacks the dollar menu and like shoves two <laughs> sandwiches inside of the, each other? <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's like you, you get a small or, or, or. ice cream, but you ask them to give it to you in a medium cup. They give you a medium amount of ice cream for the same price as the small. I mean, you're basically like a ordering a it's your five year old. Just get a happy meal. That's that's what the you happy get. meal not, only comes with four nugs. It's not enough. I mean, like, if you're going to McDonald's, here's what you do. You go a couple routes or this is our, my route. I'll go a 10 piece nugget fries, small fry. And a ham, plain hamburger. Like that's that's hearty. That's like Denny Moore meal right there. That's you know, if you're feeling like super saucy, maybe go quarter pounder with a little hot mustard. That's a dunk. Dunk that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice dunk. What does Kate get from McDonald's? I bet she has a better order than you. She gets like literally exactly the same thing, except it's instead better. of like a, a Coke Zero, she'll get like a strawberry banana smoothie i knew it was better it like is, at least there's, there's more sauce there's more sauce on it all right this is a big win man this could be win number six here for us and, and what other uh canadian fast food have you been hitting up since luna was born really like all we do it's just mcdonald's but even then we haven't been to mcdonald's much like we went the day we left the hospital i think and we were i was like oh we're gonna eat so much mcdonald's we might actually have a chance in the monopoly program Next time we went back, it was the monopoly was over. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance. To, I had three or four railroads. I think you win like a Sony Vizio TV or something. But I mean, you know they're only printing like ten of that fourth railroad. But still, have you ever won anything off that besides a burger or nuggets? Small, small muffin, maybe. I think small muffin. <laughs> it's as good as it gets. I've never. Ooh, that was so good. I've never won a real prize from an event like that. Wait, so you've been mean, you've been meaning to tell me you've been actively going to McDonald's and you haven't done the you know why I'm here? I had thought about it, but I feel weird about doing it. Why? Because they didn't do the promotion in Canada. <laughs> so I, I worry that I would just show up at the drive-thru and be like... And also, like, usually the McDonald's is, like, really busy in the drive-thru. I don't want to be like with like 30 cars behind me be like, you know, you know why I'm here and they're like, "Sir, what what are your order be?" I did a, I had a great idea for a for a meme though. What if yeah. you went through the McDonald's drive-through 
but you used like a voice modulator on your phone that made you sound as bad as the drive-through speaker sounds, <laughs> and then just see how long it takes you to to get an order through. Uh, it feels like a Mel Brooks bit. Could be fun. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Thanks for the boost. Oh, oh. okay. So this this one's for you. This one's all you. Oh, <laughs> it's a little a little messy, but that's okay. Too much Lionel Messi. We need some Lionel clean. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, look at the dribbles. Oh. Dude, this 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 would be win number six. I think this would be win number six. I don't want to count our chickens, but we're on pace. If we win, we're on pace, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if that's like strictly true, but I'm gonna choose to believe it. <laughs> it's 132 on the clock right now. We get a we we get one forfeit. You might as well place your Vegas bets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they can forfeit in casual, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna we put got that evil on us yet. But dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I feel like I'm in control. Oh, I feel, that's I good. feel like that's good Pat wood. Patrick Sedin right now. <laughs> Who won the Stanley Cup? Um, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Mm. That's not their first one. They won in the 90s or they early 2000s? They won in 2004. 2000. I got nothing against the Lightning there. You know. They're elected. They, <laughs> are the Sedins still playing? No, nah, they retired uh, two years ago. Mm. They had, did like, you, the, did the, you go to that game? No, did, I was. Huh. so we were gonna, but then I... Like, so I, I was thinking about it because they were talking about, like, this could be their last season. But then they announced it with, like, I don't know, three or four games to go. And then the tickets became, like, 500 bucks. And then, of course, I'm like, ah, the game's probably going to suck. You know that their last home game, it was... They balled Hen out. It was Daniel Sedin, overtime winner from Henrik Sedin. <laughs> so their, their final moment... As Canucks, uh, at least at home, was like uh, they scored a game-winning goal in overtime, so that it's like one of the best Canucks moments of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, <laughs> no big deal. It, the season when the season starts soon? We don't know yet because of, uh, of uh, COVID. The whole, yeah, NBA is going like they have like 40 days off and they're starting again. <laughs> LeBron tweeted out a picture of just like an emoji with a hand on the forehead. <laughs> so they they finished in like early September or like mid September, and they're starting again in December. Yeah, that's insane. Like, I think like a couple days before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, oh come nice. on! Come on! All right, six wins. We got a buck thirty-five on the clock. Four quick, easy wins, and the ch first we could go one and zero oh in challenges. But I don't want to hold that L. Do you? I I would prefer not to hold that L. Get, look at the stat screen here. I just want you to look at the stat screen here. Yeah, just, just like golf, right? Just savor it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I don't want to be that guy because sometimes like you can be that guy. Like oh, if yeah. you're watch if you're watching someone stream something, you'll be like, they're playing. Let's just say they're playing Dark Souls two, and be like, hey, are, what are you gonna play? Are you gonna play Dark Souls three? Not to be that guy. Yeah. But what do you think are some potential games that that could be good for this this challenge? You honestly, Fortnite and uh, and PUBG are kind of gimmies. I think I don't even okay. know what we Fortnite. I think it's possible we could get a dub. PUBG, I have no idea <laughs> if, <laughs> what what our what our threshold would be for that. Um, trying to think of some other stuff though. I'm like, this is kind of a soft launch for sure. Um, nice shot. You're on fire, dude. Dude, I don't know what's happening. It feels good. There's always there's always fall guys as well. If we can get ten victories in fall guys in two hours, that'd be pretty sweet. Dude, that is. Are you ten? That's maybe We'd be like, lucky to get two. It's a little much. Yeah. Unless you're doing something I don't know about in your YouTube series. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you tweet. It was, I, I saw one of your your titles was like the streak is on the line. I'm like, what streak does this guy have in Fall Guys? Uh, I've I've had some two and three streaks. Oh, so that's a good thumbnail, a good title then. And I've been I've been trying to use uh, Dan Giesling thumbnail strats starting today. Not me, sm small. I'm telling you, this kid is Galaxy Brain. <laughs> He's literally Galaxy Brain. I'm like, 
you know, I'm, when I talked to him, I'm like, I'm like, how old are you? He's like 24. I'm like, how do you have the human psyche figured out at age 24? <laughs> not, not, not that you can't be young and have stuff figured out, but this guy is like, if he, I told him if he's in an, any other industry, like he's probably like, you know, maybe doing some black hat stuff. Nice Oops. shot. Well, dude, that's what I was thinking yesterday. So I was recording this video with the Minecraft, or not Minecraft, the Rocket League uh, Pro Mercy. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm really busy right now on top of like having 900,000 subscribers on YouTube <laughs> uh, and being like one of the most popular uh, Rocket League creators of all time. Uh, I'm also like finishing my bachelor's degree right now. And I'm like, you're, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even imagine having like a huge YouTube channel in college. Like that's, oh. I mean, that's did crazy. you ask him like, like, why are you doing that? No, I, the opposite. I've, I've had, you know, because I've been, I'm a dinosaur. Sometimes I've had people that have, like, gotten very successful on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, I'm not mad at my teammate for oh. that, I promise. Um, oh, and you're saying then evaporated? Well, no, they, they've been like, hey, like, I'm in my second year of university right now, but I'm thinking of quitting because, like, YouTube's going really well. I'm like, don't do that. Just like, you know, you're young, eat, eat the busyness for a couple of years, and then, you know, if something changes, you'll be happier as a result, I think. But... I, I think I, I think earlier in check the wire I would have agreed with you now I I wouldn't you can always go back it's true and finish, finish but you can't catch lightning in a bottle kid if, if you're Fortnite season 18s you got the meme videos on lock guess what that's not happening and maybe that's yeah. bad advice if you if you're you know listening but oops <laughs> I think that's fair yeah I'm just saying I mean it depends on here's my thinking I would rather full ass YouTube half ass college and finish yeah. the finish the degree than just yeah. whole ass YouTube quick college. And you can give yeah. up like a couple of hours of extra sleep a night to, to get so, there. So basically you play the C's game. C's will get you degrees and then just you know, don't worry that you're not valedictorian. Yeah, and then just uh, you know, do YouTube or Twitch long enough that you qualify as a mature student and then you don't even have to be uh, you don't even have to have good grades to get into grad school. <laughs> <laughs> that's on me. Oh. Uh, well, that's me. I should have been back. Yeah, and small ant is uh was valedictorian too. Doesn't I mean, surprise a, me. Yeah. A lot, a lot of smart gamers out there. All right. This 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 is clutch. We have six wins or seven wins. Sorry. I think we have six. Nice save. Just that's that's all positioning. You don't need to be. Nikolai Happy Boolin. Who, by the way, Tampa Bay Lightning Stanley Cup winner. He's still playing? No, he's he's been retired oh. for like a decade. <laughs> he he won with the Lightning in 2004. Okay. Who's the oldest player in the NHL? Because that means I may know who they Dude, are. Dude, honestly, it, I think it's probably Patrick Marlowe right now. Really? I, I think Patrick oh. Marlowe is probably the oldest guy in the NHL right now. Him or maybe Jason Spezza. Oh, Chara might be a little older. Yeah, Chara might. Chara's like 42. Is the really, really famous Calgary Flames guy, Agilna, is he still playing? Jerome uh, Agilna? He retired in maybe 2016. Okay, so semi recent. When did Pavel Burry get out of the game? Like 2004. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while. Because <laughs> he was kind of like the deal when I was, him and Yami or Yaga were like the oh, best Bur players. Bure right? is amazing, yeah. He's like, he's considered maybe not the the most legendary Canuck of all time, but at his peak, he was the, he was electric. Like, right. like Priest Holmes, you know, he's not, he yeah. doesn't have the most storied career. But he had a... He had an amazing peak. I got it, I got it. I, ooh, you're my teammate. Not you, the other one. Yeah. He's not a team player. He's, a, he's what's known as a ball chaser. But you know what? <gasps> he might be chasing, he might be chasing the right thing. Yes! We need this one. <laughs> we need this one. All right. All right, we got to tell me what, I'm, where should I do? Should I be up or should I be back here? I think you should mid. Yeah, I think you should wait for the ball. I mean, you know, be in position wherever you think it's going to be. I think you sure. should wait for the ball whenever we're in the offensive zone to come out to the front of the net. 
I think that's the most likely outcome. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> come on, we gotta come on. We got now. Can we stall? Can we stall to keep the clock going here a little bit? We we or could that... we could just not score. Oh, I mean, I guess we would like to score though, because we're only up by one. Yeah, but stall though. We need that clock to run. Nice save. <laughs> uh, that's that's not the best kickoff we could have had as a team there, but we made it. We made it happen regardless. Lucky. Good stall and they're not scoring. Okay. How do you blast someone? Like make them explode? You gotta be moving at like a, a high rate of speed and then just crash into them. Okay. And then you can say eat those ads. Okay. Yo, so is on, is Flight gonna have like the biggest week in YouTube history with next gen NBA 2K? Dude, I hope so, man. He uh there's been a lot I mean I'm not one for drama, but there's been a oh, lot no. going on. But there is, uh, he released a new music video where he says Irish Spring Green Green in it. Oh! <laughs> How did that happen? I was waiting. The clock was at zeros. I mean, I missed my hit there. I missed my hit. Oh, man. Here we go. Okay, That's just, on me. I, no, no, no. Just, we, we got this. It's overtime. I was baby. celebrating. <laughs> I was. I was celebrating. I was thinking about Flight Reacts when he says Irish Spring Green Green in a music video. All right. Dude, our teammate is like a, he's a one-man wrecking crew. I don't really know why he's carrying the ball backwards, but... I think a <laughs> little bit of focus, like, this is definitely makeable. I would like to revise my... Oh, sorry. Never mind, this is it. We're taking it. Uh oh. You got it, you got it. You don't have to get Sometimes yeah. it's about not passing. Okay, now we got a little momentum. I don't oh. want to hit it in. <laughs> okay, I didn't hit it in. I didn't hit it in. We've, we've caused just enough chaos to survive, I think. There's a little danger. Nice hit. Get that nice out of here. hit. Get it out. Ride the boards, baby. Blue line it. Come that on, was, we got. It. That was very good. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Can we take it oh, off the wall? Oh, that's that's decent. Oh, <laughs> Halliburton. Uh oh, dude, the, this blood's pumping here a little bit. They got the trio. They're ball chasers. I'm not sweating it. Get that out. Right? That was actually like incredible defense. All right. Come on, come on. Kid. Oh, I shouldn't have committed. Uh oh. There we nice. go. Just a little, a little movement. Get that out. Raise stuff. Just, just so descent. Create confusion. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's a little spice. Get that out good of here. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's go. You got it, you got a ball. You got it, you got a blue line that bad boy. This one's going Dumping. around for a, oh, he headed me off at the pass, dude. Ice it, ice it. Oh. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh. He sedined it. Let's go! Oh, was that, that was, win seven? That was a dirty angle. Nice shot, kid. Oops. <laughs> oh. oh we, okay, we need three more wins. We can do this. We got a buck 45 on the clock here, kid. Buck 45 <laughs> on the clock. I think it's literally not possible because of my hard stop today, but... Maybe, what, what if we get a forfeit? They, they can't forfeit in casual, though. How did we get that other forfeit? That was, we forfeited because we joined a game where our team lost right as we lost. Mm, I thought we got a win from forfeit. Oh, they, uh, I think they quit the game uh -huh. uh, at the exact start. Like, they, okay. all, if they all leave together. <laughs> all right. We're still we're putting up a good showing, though. Dude, you know, we're doing it, a lot better. Yeah. If we can get them all to quit. Yeah, if we can get them all <laughs> to Alt F4, there's a chance. <laughs> but we, we, we did start, like, 1 in 5 or 1 in 6. But now we're like, we've won three in a row, I think. All doing right. a lot better. Good start here. I'm doing the math. 
we can keep a running clock here, we'll be okay. I see. What I'm surprised there's not there's not a diversity in uh, colors outside of blue and orange. Yeah, you can only it? you can only have blue and orange, unfortunately. Uh, dude, honestly, can I just tell you that was a great pass? Like, chat, look at this pass right here. Just a very simple dunk. One timer. Look at that. So easy. All right. Here we go. All right, now you know maybe burn a little clock here. That was that was very good. Is there anything we can do to like BM them to get them to quit? Yeah. Whenever they make a mistake, you can quick yeah. chat like something rude to them. So if, okay. if if we score, you hit him with the what a save, which is uh, left down. Okay. And then if they miss an open net, you hit left up, which is what a shot. Okay. So I think those those are very valuable. Nice shot. Oh. So then we just nice we just need to score, and then you hit him with the what a save. <laughs> It's the only way. It's the only way we can make it happen. It's not BM if it's the only way. There's always a way. Oh, no. Hang in. Like, that's a, a situation where, in my mind, we hit him with the what a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so left and up? That's a left up situation right there. I think that might have been up left. Or maybe maybe my quick chat's a little different. I don't know. Uh -huh. All right, here we go, kid. How did you get that crown? Uh, I don't know what this is from. I, I like I have so much drip from 2015. What's like the skull trooper of Rocket League? I, I guess if you could, if you have a crown from like being a top rank in a super early season, that would be like worth its weight in platinum. Omega drip. Because then, like in Fortnite, you you just had to have your mom's credit card to get the skull trooper. <laughs> yeah. You, did, you didn't have to actually, like, do anything. It was so bizarre, too, man. Like, literally, so Ryan sent me a message two weeks ago on Tuesday. He's like, hey, you want to play some 40? And I, I was literally thinking, I'm like, my internal genetics were like, oh, it's about time we, pl you know, we visit Fortnite annually. It was like, and then you messaged me on it. It's oh, uh, but then every December. Every December, I want to I wanna play a little Fortnite. Um, which, and I couldn't because it leads us to our final discussion here. Is your thought on the, the, the most popular wave in gaming trending.org.net? What's your thoughts on Among Us? You're going to get me in trouble. No, there's, there's no <laughs> trouble here. I like Among Us genuinely. I, I mean, we've played so many like social, uh, espionage games or whatever they're called on yeah. uh, on stream before the like that resident sleeper canadian one project winter yeah i like the games and i think among us actually solves a lot of the problems that i've had with other ones which is like it moves insanely quickly mm -hmm. um instead of like like getting made like people are suspicious of you and you're not a traitor in project winter but you have to live with it for 20 minutes sucks really bad um however I think you gotta have the right crew for Among Us. Like I, I prefer the more like the loose Among Us gameplay instead of like the the esports level Among Us gameplay. I, I prefer like when people don't really know what's happening, mm -hmm. and instead are just like, oh, I have like illogical reasons to suspect somebody instead of <laughs> like going through the the courts every single time. Like what what's an indication to you that it's like? Esports level among us. Like, what are some key phrases you may hear that indicates to you, like, all right, well, like I'm when not gonna watch this. when the discussion becomes like less about um, like this is what I think I saw and more about like oh somebody was doing this task in this room but that task takes eight seconds and they were only there for like six seconds. Like that's where I'm like, all right, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm more interested in like how can somebody who is the imposter like use uh, like the power of words in order to, to get themselves out of a sticky situation. Got it. More social, less, less sweat. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. But I think like it's yeah. cool that it's, that it's found such a huge audience and obviously it's doing great stuff for a lot of the people that are playing it. Um, I just think like I would, I would want to be part of a, a less sweaty lobby. And even like sometimes people are like, well, you should play in like this lobby. It's less sweaty. Then I watch footage of that lobby and I'm like, it still seems like pretty sweaty. <laughs>
I, I will say as a um as an individual it is it's a lot of fun playing when it's not sweaty you know and you can definitely feel like a vibe change when it's like uber sweat you know oh absolutely you, you can tell without a doubt and that's the other thing like i mean i said it to you in so many words but like i uh i hate when like the game ends and then there's a 15 minute talk about what happened during the game I'm just like, just get me into the next round. Like, I don't, okay, I made a mistake when I said I was in electrical. I was actually in, like, maintenance or whatever. And then, you know, okay, that led you to make six decisions that were wrong, but they're only wrong because of the fact that I made the wrong decision in the first place. I understand, but, like, can we just, can we play more video games? Nice shot, kid! <laughs> um, can, can I, like, you have, like, uh, can you talk about your game or no? That you're organizing or is that... NDA. It's still, it, well, it's not NDA, but it's still in the process. I'm hoping I'll have more for it for next week, for sure. Like, it, it, my, my Among Us experience, and again, I like the game. I'm just, I'm giving you my two cents. We played it, like, once on the show, bef uh, like, maybe a week or so after it started to pop off, but before, like, the enormous wave. Omega and, Pod. And everybody was a beginner, and I had a lot of fun. And then we got together, and I'm very thankful Apollo did this, and for everybody's time as well. The show just before the baby, we had um, a Hafu and a bunch of other, like, Among Us players, including Apollo, but also, like, everybody involved with the NLSS play. And whenever I, like, made a mistake, chat was just like, how could he do this in this, uh, he, don't, doesn't he realize that if somebody closes the doors while lights are off, then that means the imposter is probably within electrical and, um, administration, and I was just like, the, the well has become poisoned from that point onwards. <laughs> that, that's where I was like, I can't play the game for fun anymore because people watched 800 hours of it and are like, doesn't he realize that you've got to, you know, I liked it better when it was just like, turn on keyboard controls. <laughs> All right, I got well, this is literally the last one. Oh, you want to go one more? I can go one more and then it's okay. it. People were like, you're one. trolling? I wasn't trolling. <laughs> I was just <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm bad. So like I would just try fun things and people would be like, you're trolling. It's not trolling just to not know what to do. Like if you put a 14 year old in a car and they crash, you're like, stop trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say the most fun, the most fun I have playing Among Us is like, listening to people and trying to find out who's BSing or not just based on like the tonality of their voice not necessarily about the intel meta because I don't know that yeah. you know but it's no, fun like to play like hey I trust this person I don't trust this person type deal you know like that's the problem that we, that we ran into with um, Secret Hitler as well is that Secret Hitler was like you, you just you sort of come up with like a, a solution to the game like, you're like, mm -hmm. if somebody does this, the only reason they would ever do this is because they're the imposter. And then, if you try to add, like, a little bit of uncertainty in the game by doing the thing that only imposters would do to try to make it a little bit more variable, people all of a sudden, like, their heads explode. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, why would you do the thing that you... Because now you've interrupted the algorithm, you've thrown, like, a fault into the algorithm, and I, I can't follow it to its logical... Like, people just, they took it a little too seriously, in my opinion. Not, not the players, but the audience. Nice shot. That was a great shot. Um, and that's, that's I mean, to pivot, when you talk about algorithm, that's the one thing I took from, well, I took a lot from Small Ant, but he's like, basically, there's, the algorithm doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it doesn't matter. I I think I understand. I mean, it, the, the sentiment. Yeah, least. hit me with the sentiment, because I, I hit you with the headline, but you have the context. If what's, you make, what's the, the, the algorithm doesn't choose whether your videos succeed or fail it you know the amount of people that want to watch it and the you know the, the kind of content itself determines that right mostly from a conceptual and planning standpoint you know very like, much so, yeah but i like, i think it does matter in this it's like uh, it's like the tiktok for you page it, yes. it matters like if you get a little bit of the sauce if you don't get a little bit of the sauce though it's not necessarily let's go, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> No, that was great. <laughs> uh, that one, I was, I was like a cheetah stalking the prey right that there. That was so patient. good, dude. That was so good. I was just waiting for it. All right, sorry. All right, let's wait, let's go out with a W. Like I, I can't be over here being like you know, oh, Fall Guys '97 didn't, <laughs> didn't do well. The algorithms crushed me. 
So, but you said you you are sampling. Was today was your first sauce day on the headlines and thumbnails? Yeah, I, so I, I made my face enormous and then took a, <laughs> a very spoiler rich screenshot from the episode and put Gaussian blur over top of it, and then okay. and then titled it. You wouldn't believe, or you won't believe what happened, or something like Is that. Is your mouth open or closed? Uh, it's it's closed. Okay, that that's a difference maker. <laughs> 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 if, it, if it's open, it, it, you know it's supposed to do better. I'm just just throwing that out there. But I don't know, like, so I get, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say the P word. I apologize to your viewers. I get, yeah. I get pissed off because, like, people that should not, in my opinion, have an opinion on the thumbnail meta because they already enjoy the videos are like, I don't like that. So what? You like, you like the video. I don't need to advertise to you. You, you know, you got to, you're either playing the game or you're getting played by the game to some extent. It, would you like rather that, like, over time, the YouTube audience just decayed so much that I had to stop making videos and instead, you know, just, like, became, like, a COBOL programmer in a bank or something like that? Well, that's not what I meant. I just thought, like, why couldn't... Yeah, Because I get, like, part of your identity is derived from the fact that you don't watch crappy YouTubers who lie in their thumbnails and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not a YouTuber who's going to lie in the thumbnail. If You really won't believe what happened in that Fall Guys <laughs> video. I can barely believe what happened in that Fall Guys video. Yeah, but do you think two dads can can win ten games <laughs> in two hours in Rocket League? I'm working. The title's a working thing, but you know, you know. Yeah, we're, we're still working on the copy. Yeah, that, but that, that's, that can that, come later. But like that's because <laughs> so I, I read a great quote, you know, and it was if you want, uh, it, it's about product design, but I think it applies to a lot of stuff. If you want a bad answer to a problem, make sure to ask for everybody's feedback. <laughs> you know, if, if you ask, if you take a plebiscite of everybody and go, hey, what do you want to see? They're going to give you, like, so much feedback that you're going to end up making, like, gruel. You know, a soup that's palatable <laughs> for everybody, but nobody actually likes it. You got to ask the people and, you know, get feedback from the people that are relevant to the solution that you're trying to accomplish. You know, if you're trying to appeal to a larger audience on YouTube or, or make your videos more clickable or whatever, don't ask the people already clicking what would make them more clickable. You existing is, is you know, they're already clicking on it because of that. That's, get, that's facts. You got to ask, like, your 13-year-old cousin who, who loves Fortnite. And be like, what <laughs> makes you click on a video? And then they, you know, open their mouth and... <laughs> it's exactly. <laughs> I will say, man, I give a ton of credit to, to Small Ant. Literally, I would say, I mean, it's been a week, but probably the views on YouTube have doubled. Dude, I, I've been dude, noticing it, in this Spelunky yeah. stuff. Because, like, here's the, like, I don't know. I guess I just, I, I do, honestly, as much as this sounds like it's a positive thing, I think I listen to my own fans too much. So when they say things like, hey, don't even put light spoilers in the videos, I go, you know what? That's reasonable. I'd be pretty pissed if, like, I went to go see like the new Avengers movie and they're like, hey, it's called Thanos dies at the end. <laughs> I'd be like, why am I spending my time on this? But then like, I don't know. I, I look at Dan's thumbnails and I'm like, or your, your Spelunky 2 metrics. And yeah. I'm like, well, when you called it like a oh, Spelunky episode 15 fun times, it got like yeah. 1500. And when you called it like super mega end boss square bracket <laughs> spoiler, it gets like 6,000. Then like, it's, it's not like you're a different person from one video to the other. It's just the thumbnail. Who cares? It's just the pa the burger is the same. It's just the packaging on the outside. You're just changing you know? the box. Yeah. Trying to sell a few more burgers. That's all. And the the price is free. All right, here we go. Let's let's let's. We got a dub. We got a dub here. It's gone. I am it's gone. I'm I'm Sadid Sadid. I'm Sadin Center. <laughs> okay, he's he's past it. Oh, oh we I, still got some it, momentum. Jimmy Hendrix, Jimmy Hendrix. Oh! <laughs> you came in like Iron Man from the heavens. Look at this. Look at this replay. Tony Stark. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's good stuff. Oh, uh, I will say though, the, I you know I, I listen to a lot of feedback. Is the my only uh, Piccadilly or one thing I'm battling with a little bit and going back and forth is too much editing on a Spelunky run is not mm. good. I, oh, I, I like. Yeah. Because people, you know, Spelunkies that kind of don't need to be edited, but I'm still trying to, you know, just mess with it a little bit. Because no, who wants to see the 12 minutes of the dwelling every day? I don't. <laughs> I kind of do, you but know? it's, you know, I, I don't, I, I think there's a, there's people out there that want to 
uh, see a little bit of everything for sure. Yeah. Like I've been so you know tunnel visioned on this idea that like oh so many of my episodes have sucked lately because there's been little progress, and then uh, people reply. And again, you can't necessarily trust it because <laughs> they're fans, right? Like they're gonna like it sometimes, no matter what. But um, you know, the, people were like, "Don't sweat it. We love the crappy episodes. In fact, I actually hate the ones where." <laughs> you know, you you do well because you're not focused on like the banter and there's less like humorous deaths and stuff. Yeah, I think that's part of your unicornicity, though. You know I, what I mean? I can understand that. Yeah. By all by all accounts, uh, were it not for my incredible likability, I would already be dead in the water. <laughs> for for some reason, even though chance constantly like bad take, bad take, people are like, you know, just they keep watching for some reason. Get that out of here. <laughs> All right, come on. You got a big, big save there, kid. Big save. Oh, easy. Big save. Easy. Should we blue line it? Blue line it. Icy Bach. Uh oh. No, no problem. Oh, right. that's that's a ten out of ten difficult shot, dude. Good Not hit. Bad. Good hit. All right. That's oh, that's that's cheetah strats. Cheetah and gazelle. Cheetah and gazelle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I gotta get back on D. Keep, keep it pogged. Okay. Dump him. Oh! Cheat and Gazelle! Oh, that's it. Tony Stark it! Oh! oh. <laughs> was, we were at the Icy Buck! Hey, hang in here. Hang in here. Here we go. Go down here. It's our time. It's... Oh, no! Tony Teammates! <laughs> Hang in here. Come on, we got this. I believe. Oh, I missed. I missed. You didn't. Come on. That's cheating because I'll slam that thing home. Tony! Oh, come on. <laughs> I can see box back on D, okay? Hang in here. I Your love blood's the, pumping a little bit here. The triple That's commit it. from the audience is so oh. good. Come on. Wait for your shot. It's all time. Oh. All right, gotta calm. Gotta calm. Oh. Get back on D. No, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> good game. Uh, it was a good game. All right, I we gotta, had a. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta bail like literally right now. But uh, it was, game, it game, was a ton game. of fun. We were, we were close. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to the first. G E C S G C S. Ryan. Yeah. It's fun, man. Dude, Looking it was good. Yeah, let's let, let's create more of a scaffolding for next week. More consequences. Yeah. I'm ready for sure. I think I think we found our stride as this one went on. All right, sounds good, man. Later. All right, later. Jack, right. we get some easy. Good, good, good stream today. Short stream. We got a doctor thing we got to go to uh, right off the bat. Um, so I got to go like immediately right now. But I'll be live tomorrow, of course. And I'll make some more uh, YouTube videos today. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'm going to raid Dan real quick. And Dan can choose what he's going to do with uh, the viewers. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And uh, see, ya, see ya soon. See you soon uh, and shortly. Soon and shortly. See ya.